Hello guys, let me know when you can see me and hear me. I'm so excited about this game! Oh my gosh. I, like, ever since I found out I could actually play it, I've been so freaking excited. But, um, oh yeah, let me, um, let's see. Let me go ahead and pin this Nocturne. Thank you! But yeah, I am super duper excited about playing this. Uh, this has been like a fan game I've had my eye on for quite a while, honestly. And I remember like it had the prologue translated like a while ago, and I was like, I wanna wait till at least like one chapter gets translated, you know, so I can get to a trial. But now it's time, it's time. The prologue's translated, chapter one's translated. Uh, I'm so freaking excited, it looks so good. The art is like gorgeous from what I've seen. Like uh, if you guys probably saw the thumbnail, like it looks so good. And the gameplay, from what I can tell, kind of looks like Danganronpa another. Uh, kind of reminds me of that so far. I'm pretty sure this one's Korean, too. Um, I will try to find a link, too, for where you guys can play it. I was going to ask Sephiroth because they're the one who translated this. A big shout out to them, obviously, for translating this. I was like, oh, I'm so excited to get to play it. But, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? I know there's- I think I found a link online to the prologue, but I don't know if I found one for the chapter one build quite yet. So, uh, I'm not totally sure exactly chapter one is playable just yet, but, um, I'll link it whenever I find out about it. Thank you, Makuro Kiba! Hi, Weeby! So excited to see you back at it again! Me too! It's been so long since I played some dang it grandpa, I'm excited! <laughs> I'm so freaking excited! Okay, let's go ahead and do it. New game! Danganronpa mob. Okay. Yeah, the main guy looks kind of... I think I saw somebody in the chat saying, at least who I think the main guy is, the guy on the, uh, you know, loading screen and all that. He does kind of remind me of, like, uh, I don't know, yeah, like, the main guy from, like, Amori or something. Like, he kind of has, like, an emo look to him, you know what I mean? Oh, my God, I could give him the emo voice. That'd be perfect. Are you sure you want to do this? How many times will you ask me? I'll be fine. Don't you think it's too late to ask that question anyways? It's not too late. You have to carefully think this through. Once you start this, there's no turning back. I've already committed myself to this. Do you really think I would do something this big without knowing what I'm doing? Huh? It's not like I don't know that, but... If you do something, anything remotely dangerous, I'll drag you out of there. Is he gonna, like, infiltrate a killing game? I'll drag you out there by force! Hey, why do we have the same voice, dude? Good to know, I guess I'll have to rely on Argos... Argos-sama, won't I? It's like a Greek god name. Stop calling me that! I abandoned that name long, a long time ago! Okay, so... Argo-sama's the white text guy? I'll try it. Uh, my bad, sorry. I'll give him the Kenjo voice. It sounds like a deep voice kind of person. How can you be in the mood for jokes? I'm worried about you, but you're just joking around. I wouldn't say that. Huh? What, the, what is going on? Is this guy gonna be the mastermind or some shit? Uh huh? Oh, it's nothing. I'm kind of assuming. Wait, no, I got the voices mixed up. I'm kind of assuming the main guy that we're playing as is green text. It, it's nothing. Anyways, don't worry. I'll be sure to succeed. He has to win the killing game. I do think this one's connected to the uh, original games too, because I feel like there was a warning at the beginning of uh, what should we call it? Uh, the intro when you load this up saying it has spoilers for the old games. So maybe, are we in like a V3 situation? For his sake. Kenjo's. There's probably two minutes, there's probably two minutes left. You better stop watching at the clock and prepare yourself. All right, I'll see you later. You have to tell me what happened afterwards, by all means. Don't worry, I'll return safely. Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, let's go. I'm so confused! <laughs> I'm so confused on what's going on. But I'm assuming our protagonist is evil. <laughs> it's always the assumption, baby. Oh, gosh. Would you like to save? God, I just- I made so much progress. Remind me not to save over file one, because, uh... That's Zeph's file that, uh, is apparently supposed to help with any kind of glitches in chapter one that I'm supposed to load later. My eyes open slightly. Oh yeah, let me read some of these donos too. I just wanted to get through the first, uh, thing. Okay, let's see. Thank you, J. Ray. Hey, Weeby, it's been a while since I was available live. Can't wait to start this fan game with you. Oh, thank you so much, and thanks for being a member for 17 months. And thank you, Yasu Gaps. Waves, hello. Hi, I'm so excited. Have fun, we <laughs> Weenie. <laughs> Weenie Hut Juniors. I'm excited. 
you too. Thanks for joining. Uh, Kenneth Anderson, every time Weeby says slay, take a shot. Oh, God. You're all dying of alcohol poisoning, aren't you? <laughs> impossible. A drinking game, impossible difficulty. Oh, thank you, Zephyrum. Title means foreshadows of killings. Interesting. Even while my consciousness and body are hazy, I can clearly feel the light pouring into my eyes. Hard yet cold texture. It's a very familiar feeling. This kind of looks like the Danganronpa 1 building, doesn't it? Hope's Peak. I see. I'm lying on a desk. At least from what little I can see. When I lifted my head and shift my gaze around, I see the scenery of a classroom. The objects in the classroom were gradually becoming clearer as my eyes were accustomed to the light. This classroom. Hey, wake up! I hear a voice behind me. The owner of this voice is... Okay. Oh, what the? I gotta make a choice? <laughs> like, wait, do I get to choose my best girl? Um, I don't know. Oh my god, I didn't expect a choice. Um, I think I like this girl's vibe. She's giving girl boss. I mean, this girl's cute too, I think. But I'm gonna go with girl boss. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually have a choice. God, I'm not, I'm not used to this choices in my Danganronpa game. I turned my head, the person, a person was standing there with their back against the classroom wall. Who are you? Who are you? Um, that's what I was gonna say. Who the hell are you? Should I go first? Hi, my name is Hiroto Iwata. Oh my. Ah, oh my. Okay, Iwata, tell me everything you know. I don't know much. I just walked through the school's entrance at the appointed time. Soreto. And you don't remember anything after, is that right? <laughs> Basically. How did you know that? That's crazy. It is exactly is exactly the same for me. What the hell is going on? I, mean, I can't remember my name. Kind of been a while since we, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know, had a like he hasn't mentioned his name. Let me ask you one more question. The school you tried to enter is it Hope's Peak Academy? That's right. The new two. I don't know, I guess she looks like a mechanic or something. She's got little mechanic uh, pins in her hair. The person in front of my eyes nodded silently. I wonder if we'll see the other girl. Hopefully I didn't just boot her out of the game. <laughs> I guess it's kind of better for her sake though. Hope Speak Academy. It refers to, wait, is this the girl? It refers to a government approached special school school whose purpose is to gather and nurture exceptional high school students in each field. When you graduate from the school, you'll be set for life with hundreds of years of history. It's a traditional school that continues to produce promising talents in various fields. Nothing bad ever happens here. It is to be called the School of Hope, which nurtures the hope that will lead the future of the country. Oh, good old Hope Speak Academy. The school has two admission requirements. Being a high school student and being the best in your field. Admission applications are not accepted by all. And only students scattered directly by the school are admitted. Students who enter are said to have abilities that far exceed the level of high school students and then are given the title of Ultimate Student. Okay, I reached into my- okay, Iwata is his name. Wasn't her name kind of like Owata or something though? I reached into my pocket and pulled out a paper bag. Uh, what is this, a letter? There was no reason to show, so I held out the letter to her. Okay, maybe we- maybe I got them confused actually. So she's the question mark and I'm the- and I'm the name. There was no reason to show- to not show her, so I held out the letter to her. Mr. Hiroto Iwata this year. We elected one student by lot. Oh, <laughs> we're the lucky student. Oh, man. That could mean anything. <laughs> There's so many things that could mean. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Ither, becoming for becoming a Kenjo cultist. And let me uh, read this other one, too. Thank you, Kana. I'm so excited, Weeby. It's been a while since I watched your streams, but I loved your Danganronpa Despair Time streams. Also, I miss Kenjo's voice. Uh -huh. Enjoy the game, Weeby. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And I miss... I just miss Kinjo. I miss him so much. Okay. Thank you for the donation, though. Appreciate ya. Mr. Hiroto Iwata, this year we elected one student by lottery among the ordinary students. As a result, the winner was admitted to this academy as the ultimate lucky student. Oh, Lord. Aww. Are we, uh... <laughs> we a Makoto lucky student or a Kamida lucky student? That's the... <laughs> That's the question. Right, in other words, you are a student who was admitted by lottery, right? Are you gonna be nice to me about it? This school regards luck as a talent and admits one student selected by lottery each year. It must be true then. That's right. 
I'm not the ultimate emo? <laughs> he does kind of remind me of uh, Sunny. My name is Hiroto Iwata. I'm an ordinary high school student with a normal appearance and with no special talents. Entering Hope Speak Academy was the only result, only the result of being drawn in a lottery among ordinary high school students across the country. My hobbies are games, and I hate school. I don't possess physical strength or mental fortitude. <laughs> You're gonna have to be carrying the entire trials, though. <laughs> a stereotypical teenager, a type that you could also call mob. Oh, mob, mob. These days, kind of reminds me of Mob from uh, Mob Psycho. I thought to myself that I was the that kind of person. Ma well, it doesn't matter if you are talented or not. We should call each other by our own names from now on. So I shall give my full name. I am Mayu Ego. Ego, interesting. I entered as the ultimate engineer. Okay, I was kind of thinking like a mechanic or something, or like inventor. She's so pretty. May you ego. Ego, I see. Nice to meet you. If you're an engineer, then you deal with machines? That's a mechanic. Engineers apply science to create something new. Yeah, I was like, I felt like kind of fit more mechanic just because of all the tools on her. Why are you doing false advertisement then, girl? For example, making a car by putting a body with a motor, powerful transmission, steering system, and more. I just think the tools look cool. I don't know exactly, but you mean someone who invents new technology, right? If you don't understand, then knowing roughly is fine. I don't I don't know much about engineering, but wouldn't that be amazing if your skills were scouted by Hope Speak Academy? It is great. The patent and the patent technology value of the new round trip engine I developed before was enough to live for several years. My main job is robotics, so I just make it as a hobby. But I didn't expect myself to like it so much. Ooh, she makes robots. She sure likes to talk about herself. If this is all about introducing ourselves, then it must be Hope Speak Academy, right? I heard you fainted entering the academy too. I guess that, I guess that would be true. Come to think of it, I wonder, did you wake up in this classroom as well? Yeah. No, I woke up in the classroom, next classroom face down like you. Okay, so we're all in like different classrooms, I guess. Being confused, I went into a nearby classroom and you were here. The moment I was about to wake you, you already did. And I couldn't tell you earlier, but there was something lying next to you. Oh. Oh. What the? A new semester has started. You guys are the hope to take charge of this country. Please gather at the entrance hall at 9 a.m. Oh my goodness. Monokuma left us a little note. I think it's Monokuma who's the mascot in this game. He was in the intro, or like the, you know, loading screen at least. Is this note written by the school? Um, well, it kind of looks like a child's prank saying, you guys, it just feels weird. It kind of looked like it was written by a child, too. It was made in, like, crown. That's why I was like, that's definitely Monokuma. And if it's a note from the school, then they can just tell us, right? There's no need to transfer students to classrooms one by one and hand over a note. That's true. And try to recall, do you remember moving from the school's entrance to this classroom? No, I definitely don't. If people moved us into the classroom... If the people moved us into the classroom was also from the school, wouldn't the story be more like the school knocked us out and kidnapped us? We, uh, maybe we got caught up in something really big. So what can we do? Are you going to the entrance hall at 9 a.m. like the letter said? As of now, I will. There's no other way. It's a little past 8 a.m. now. Isn't it too early? Perhaps people are trying to gather now? There's plenty of time left. Wouldn't it be better to investigate the classrooms and inside the school first? That's a good idea. Okay, guess I might be able to meet people. Oh yeah, it does kind of remind me of uh, talking Rapa and others so far with little question marks and stuff. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Actually, let me um, read some of these donos before I get too uh, sidetracked. Do -do -do. Let's see here. Okay, I got that one. Thank you, Lazy Mio. I see your last name, and I and all I can think of is Bondo. <laughs> I know, right? I've been thinking about that too. Someone unknown, welcome back to Hope Speak Academy, the most sane and normal school ever. We're only the most normal and wholesome things happen. That is so true. You know, I was worried for a little bit, but now that I see the Kanade smiling emotes, I feel better. I feel better about it. Thank you, Aether. Finally back and catching a stream again. Last time I was here was for Raincode. I'm glad to be back. Excited for this fan game. Me too. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, so I'm super excited. And thank you, Shadow R Midnight. Super High School Luck was a lie. Hirito is really the super high school level emo. That's the twist at the end of this. You thought you were the high school level. Look, you're really the emo. I mean, look at you. Look at those eye bags. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. We will tell you how to operate in a simple manner. 
The window menu can be opened with the X key, and the decisions or interactions can be made with the inner space and Z keys. Okay, yeah, pretty uh, similar to before. Inner space and Z, and then it said X for the menu. You can quickly skip through conversations by holding down the control key. Okay. Okay, so I don't really walk around. Just kind of move my thing. This is where a window originally was, right? Get out of the way. Okay, thank you. Excuse you. Ego went over to the window and began to fiddle with the screws. As expected, it's very tight. The material looks solid. You mean it's hard to pull out? I don't think it's I don't think it's possible to remove with the manpower alone. Why in the world is this stuck to a school a school's window? This supposed this isn't supposed to be a prison. Okay. Oh, another window. It's probably the same thing, right? There are iron screwed windows. Okay, just the same thing. Okay. Another window. <laughs> iron screwed windows. Okay, I think I've looked at enough windows, Weeby. Surveillance camera. Hey, there's a surveillance camera attached here. I wonder if someone's watching. Creepy. Clock. I have some time left, so I might as well do some investigation with Ego. Is this another camera? No monitor. It's a reception monitor on the corner of the wall. Nothing special. Okay. At this point, I think we're done with the classroom survey, so we should probably head out. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, look at him! He's so cute! <laughs> His little sprite! <laughs> It's quiet. When I saw you earlier, there wasn't a single mouse. There are no faculty members. That's also suspicious. No. So now I'll have to investigate the school. So now I have to investigate the school. Are you going to keep following following me? I thought about it as well. Uh, do you mind? If you're confident that you won't get in the way, it's a bit of a burden to be alone in an unfamiliar place anyways. Okay. I think it'd be better to be with someone for now. I don't know how much I don't know much about this school, but there must be more students besides us, right? Needless to say, there can't be only two members in a class. There must be more than ten people besides us. And maybe twelve. I wonder if they were going to the school like us. Then let's start. I think it'll be a relief to meet other people. Wait, first we should check the entrance. Entrance. Yeah, did you see that all the windows are covered with the iron plates earlier? I mean, that's kind of suspicious, right? <laughs> Might be good to see if we can actually exit this place. Then we should check the entrance door and see if it's in a similar situation. If the main gate is open, then we don't have to walk around for no reason. Do you want to waste effort in vain? Yeah, for real. All right, then. Let's go. Okay, can I move my guy now? Okay, I guess not. I can't really read her personality. I think she's like... She's definitely not like the super sweet kind of like Chiaki best girl, but she's not like mean or anything either. I feel like she kind of reminds you of like Kirigiri. She's just kind of more like stern or like, you know, just like uh, more logical, I guess. I guess she is an engineer. That's cr That's fucking crazy. <laughs> what the hell is that? The entrance was not was not blocked by an iron plate. <laughs> it's like a vault door. However, a door that seems several times stronger than the iron plates took its place. Ego ran out and began examining the iron gate, then shook her head after a while. 16, that's what it usually is. I was like trying to remember exactly. I was like, how many people is it usually? It seems to be stronger in metal than the iron plate from earlier. It's to the point where I question if the door really leads outside. When I entered, when I entered, it wasn't a door like this. It was an ordinary gate. It was the same in my case. It must have been something they set up while we passed out. For now, imprisonment has been confirmed. We are trapped here. I must have been passed out for a while if they set up all this stuff while we were asleep. Who and why did they do this? I have no clue. There's nothing we can do about it. I think it's better to start looking for other people first. I know that much. Let's going. get going. Okay, interesting. Do do. Oh, I can't move! Oh, he's so fast! Oh, look at him. He's just a little guy. <laughs> His little sprite's cute. Infirmary. I guess I can check it out. Oh, hey! Person here. Hello, is it fine if I take a moment? Uh, who are you? Huh, I like their design, it's very interesting. A freshman at Hope Speak Academy, call me Ego. I'm Hi Hirotu. Um, same goes for me. I'm not really sure what voice to give them. It's like a Chihiro type of voice. <laughs> 
I am Rika Kazuki. I enrolled in as the ultimate zoologist. Okay, zoologist. Rika Kazuki. Aww. Zoologist, as an engineer, I think there might be several topics we can share later. Engineering, same science student. Yeah, I'm okay with that. They seem shy. I feel like I'm being le- <laughs> I mean, did I just lose my best girl already? Um, what about you? Did you study something? Physics, math, architecture? No, I'm just <laughs> plain old normal lucky student. Or is it the social sciences, econ economics, business, psychology? Stop, you're just, you're making this harder on me. No, I don't have a talent. I just entered by the lottery. Oh, <laughs> loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> loser. I can hear that. My apologies. I made a wild guess. I got excited without knowing. Got excited over something like that. You don't have many for- Well, damn. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Thanks for pointing that out. Oops. Uh, you really don't need them. They just get in the way of work. That's fine. It could, it could happen. You can make friends now. We've known each other for two seconds. We can be friends. That's how it works in Danganronpa. It may be, as you say, I can make friends in the future. Aw, who's dying, chapter one? <laughs> this feels like such a death flag. Yeah, that's so true. I could definitely make friends. So many friends. It'd be terrible if something bad happened to me before I could make friends. Then excuse me, I want to meet other people. Thank you, Matt Stevens, for becoming a Mitch Stan. Is there, was there any chance you ever thought of making friends while entering here? Since I already have nothing to regret about my future plans, there may be enough cases for coming, of coming for purposes other than studying. <laughs> She is a very logical type of person. I guess I could fit it into my schedule. I don't know. Maybe. Then can I ask for what purpose did you come here? I don't know. I'm slowly regretting my admission, so I don't have time to reflect on that. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it's gonna meet some more people. I don't know if it's too... Can we get, um, actually, like, mono coins in this? They didn't mention that yet, so... I feel like it's not really, I don't know, super... Relevant to click on it unless <laughs> I'm not gonna click on this stuff unless I get mono coins. Come on, you know how it goes. Okay, a uh, doctor or something. Hey, mm. oh, is there someone here? Are you freshman at Hope Speak Academy? Mm. Yeah, call me Mayu Ego. I'm Hiro Hiroto. Okay, I'm not really sure what name to give this guy or what voice. It seems there are only freshmen in this place. Maybe like a stern kind of voice. My name is. Ukyo Sarashina, a calligrapher. A calligrapher. Interesting. What do calligraphers do? Is that like the thing with the stars? Or maybe I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I uh, we're thinking this. Hey, that's right, I've heard of you. Oh, yeah? Um, do you know me? If you're not in the art industry, then you wouldn't know then you wouldn't know. Or is it like art? I can't remember. I saw it in the newspaper. He's a professional in the traditional art world who earned a great deal of praise with every work he presents. Okay, maybe it, I think it is art now that I think about it. <laughs> it wasn't much of a review. I did do the newspaper interview, but I didn't expect them to write it like that. Aww. I mean, I am awesome. <laughs> I am amazing and perfect. But isn't it objectively good to enter the school? Not Having said that, I can't deny it since art is old fashioned. The eyes of others are important. Anyways, did someone see the letter telling them to gather by 9 o'clock, <laughs> written in crown? <laughs> Looks like it was made by a three-year-old. Oh, calligraphy is handwriting. Uh, okay. Of course, we're looking around the school for a while now. If you saw it, then that's good. I'll be going somewhere else. Oh, he's got a little ponytail. I didn't know he had long hair. He just said that it, He just said what he wanted to say. That's pretty cold. Yeah. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't being cold in a situation like this be a positive thing? <laughs> He's just like me for real. Yeah, I guess he's slightly colder than she is so far. I guess I'll, uh, men's locker room. We'll see if uh, anybody's in here. Are you going in? You definitely need to investigate. Ah, uh, yeah, could you wait outside? Tuh, come out as soon as possible. Nobody's, nobody's pooping? <laughs> Lame. Whatever, fine then. Fine then, I won't talk to anybody in here. Man, if Nekumaru is here. <laughs> That's, you would know for sure. <laughs> for, for sure he would be in there. Okay, I guess I can check the store. Okay, there's somebody in here at least. 
Who are you? Oh! Kind of reminds me of Fukawa a little bit. A student who is not taking her eyes off the book. Um, excuse me. Mm hmm? Hmm? Um. She glanced this way, then lowered her gaze back to the book. <laughs> okay, cool! I like the book, too. We. What is it about? Yes. Uh... Should we introduce ourselves? I'm Hiroto Iwata. This is Mayu Ego. Erika <laughs> Jumanji. <laughs> oh my god, like the movie? <laughs> hey, do you like the movie Jumanji? Erika Jumanji. Okay, interesting. Ultimate Librarian. Okay. Even kind of a similar talent to Toko. A Jumanji. That's like the movie? That's your name, right? Yes. Hey, we're speaking to you. Can you talk to our face? Gotta be a rude girly pop. Looks up. I didn't want to be disturbed. Can you just be quiet? I mean, reading my very important book about we. <laughs> about we, the people. And she closed the book. Um, what? Oh, my hometown is Osaka. So I used standard language. I wanted you to un understand it clearly. Oh, my. Um, we're freshmen at Hopespeak Academy, and we were asking you questions, just in case you can also ask. So I'd like you to answer us. Uh, that that was it. Was, was that a yes? A no? I don't, I don't understand what it is. I think it'd be good to say our greetings and briefly introduce ourselves. Oh, oh my god, is that the only reason? Jesus Christ. Yeah, but aren't you going to be in the same school? Don't, shouldn't we greet each other? Judging by the way of your speech, I guess I have to get out of the way. Please don't disturb me. <laughs> okay, deuces, I guess. No, you're completely ignore- God dang it! You should have stepped out when you noticed that. Do you think this kind of small talk would work? It's the first time I've ever been treated so rudely by someone. There's no way you can't tell that apart. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty rude. Oh, well. At least she's named after a, a great movie. I don't think I ever actually saw the remake of it. I only saw the original one when I was like a kid. Hey, let me uh, double check. Do there was any other um, donations that I missed? Thank you, Wiggity. Hey, Weeby, finally catch a stream. Love your videos. Are you reacting to? Are you react to the Kuma Tante trailer soon? I don't know if I heard about that. I'll look it up though and decide, I guess, after that. Thank you, Shadow Our Midnight. We need your prophecies, Weeby. Who will die? <laughs> I don't know. Probably the white-haired girl so far is my guess. Just because she was like, I hope I can make so many friends. I hope we don't die before I make friends. <laughs> but yeah, they haven't really met too many people, so it's kind of hard to decide too soon. Thank you, Nocturne. Characters are cute, but I refuse to get attached. I feel that. I feel that. I know I'll get attached, though. I always do. AV room. Oh, blonde dude. Oh! Oh my god, are you gonna be like a vlogger? Are you gonna be like Kai from Eden's Garden? Oh my god, I love Kai. You two, wait a sec! What? Oh, he's, I feel like, I feel the Kokichi voice for this kid. Wait a minute, could you help with the shooting? Wait, what is this? What's going on? What is it? I'm trying to film the first meeting with the freshman of Hope Speak Academy. Oh my god, this is so imp Oh my god, this is gonna be- It's gonna give me so many subs. Make sure to smash that motherfucking like button. I don't like this. I have no intention of leaving my face in other people's records. Well, I'm fine with- Well, I'm fine with it. I want to be famous. Good, then your name is... Mayu Ego. Alright, Ego, I'll mosaic you. The name is all over the internet anyway, so there's no need to hide it. That way it won't matter, right? Do as you like. Just get it done quickly. Uh, yeah, I'll take that as an agreement. Then, you, the male person. What's your name and talent? I'm the ultimate lucky student, Hiroto Iwata. Uh. Ah, so you're the student who came by in the lottery. So you're the loser. <laughs> Good to know. Were you aware at Hopesby Academy there's a system in which a lottery is held against regular high school students? And one student is... <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Did you know there's a lottery? Did somebody call him Pikachu? <laughs> oh my god, he's like a little human Pikachu. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. Did you know there's a lottery? I was literally the one who got selected through it, so yeah, I know about it, dude. He murmured constantly into the camera. Oh, he's t oh my god, never mind. He's talking to his fans. Sorry, I didn't mean to give the way of that. Why in the world are you filming this? Are you going to keep it? 
Um, oh, oh my god, he is! <laughs> oh, he's my favorite. What's your name, Shoji? Okay, you're my favorite already. <laughs> Of course, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. The original plan was to broadcast it live, but the time was going to be something like the entrance ceremony of Japan's Ultimates of the Academy, which the U.S. is appalled and admired. Which the U.S. is appalled and admired by the world. A shocking reveal, but now he just got kidnapped and shit. Ah, oh, it's so lame. <laughs> I'm trying to update the record for the highest number of views in a while. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna beat that record, babe. I'm be number one on trending. Good. I'm the old- Oh my god, I love him! <laughs> I fucking love him already. Best boy! You, you better not die. We were just talking about not getting attached, and I'm like, this is my son. Nothing shall befall of him. <laughs> I'm the ultimate streamer. Shoji Shina Shinano. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I bet he's stupid. <laughs> streamer. Of course, have you heard my name before? I'm sorry, but I don't use the internet streaming services a lot. You mean you, you haven't heard of me? Welcome. But, but, but I'm famous. I'm not interested in that field. Oh, no! But, but I have so many stands. Do you know how many stand Twitter accounts there are made of me? Do you know how much fan fiction there's been written about me and my best friends? I am surprisingly unpopular here. I have an average of 30,000 viewers, I don't know, and over a few million U YouTube, YouTube subscribers. Dear God, 30,000 people? So many people watch your broadcast on their own? Of course, if you search in Google, I like the, I like the translation for this, for the nickname Sinano, you'll get tons of results. I heard that a lot of foreign fans also watch it. To think that I have to explain my popularity. Guys, I might have been more of a ghost than I thought. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my god. Can you smash that like button if you think that people don't appreciate me enough here? <laughs> no, no, you'll say he's doing the Kanade smile. <laughs> Okay, it was kind of a Kanade smile moment, but he will not. No, he's pure. He's precious. He's never done anything wrong in his entire life, and I love him. So you're saying you're going to upload the video you just took on your personal broadcasting channel? Am I going to be seen by like a million people? Yeah, the entrance ceremony of Hosty Academy, a school that is attracting attention from all over the world. The number of views should increase at least tenfold, right? Dude, once the killing game happens, he's gonna be so stoked. Like, oh my god, guys, did you hear that? We're in a killing game! Slay! Oh my god, there's gonna be so many fucking views. <laughs> oh my god, I love this kid. The original plan was to broadcast live, but when I woke up, the hand cam and smartphone were all gone. This video camera was found in a storage room while searching the school. It's like a school fixture, but I'm gonna record with it and get permission later. I see. Okay, that makes sense. He just found it. That makes sense why he's in the AV room, too. I see. When are you planning to upload the recorded video? I'm gonna upload it unedited, so I'm thinking of uploading it as soon as the entrance ceremony is over. Of course, provided the school has computers. Anyways, thanks for your cooperation in filming. I'm off to look for the others I haven't seen yet. Hopefully they're more interesting. He's too noisy. Is it the lack of... <laughs> the lack of thought. That's why I love him. He's so he seems stupid at least. He, I mean, he's a streamer. Come on. There's nothing, nothing in our heads. <laughs> He'll kill for the views. Oh no! He like, stabs somebody when he's got his camera. Uh, just slaying here, guys. Smash that like button. If you think I should stab her in the ribs. Oh my god. Oh, I love him so much. No matter what he does, I'm gonna love him. He is, he's silly. He's too noisy. Is the lack of thought that allows him to be so energetic in this situation, or rather too much? At least I don't think it's the latter. <laughs> How dare you? He's a secret genius, you guys. It takes a lot, a lot of brain power to be a streamer, okay? Okay, Iwata. Oh yeah, can I actually save? Okay, I was kind of curious to see if I could save. Noise. How do I exit this? Okay, there we go. Okay. He's my fave so far. Nah. Every every like equals another stack. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dead. 
Oh my god. I'm already liking this game. Thank you for the cookie monster, Weeby. We can put Steamboat Mickey and Danganronpa. That's true. That is so true. And thank you, NR China 20 Rose. Can't wait for you to meet my favorite. You'll love his face. Oh, interesting. I'm excited. Thank you, Mia Ruma fan. Remember, Weeby, Mia survived V3. <laughs> that is so true. That was so slay when she survived that. She girl bossed her way out of that. We love that for her. <laughs> was it was at the end of that video, Mia just like wrote Samugi like mean letters or something <laughs> like the whole time taunting her. I can't remember. That was such a fun Wheel of Fate video though. Thank you, Bless Bane. Killing Ego at 5 million subs, not clickbait. <laughs> Every, every like button will be me killing somebody else. Okay, here we go. New girl. Hiroto, you wanna... My voice that made me feel drowsy just by listening to it came from somewhere. Oh, she's sleepy? Gonna be kind of like Chiaki or something? Oh, who are you? You, this year, Hope's Peak Academy, a freshman? <laughs> can you, can you speak? Oh, she does kind of look like Sayaka, actually. Yeah, that's right. Of course you are too, right? Yeah, I'm the ultimate badminton player. My name is Satsuki Kana. Oh, oh, Satsuki. I miss you, girl. Interesting. Kind of be hard to be a badminton player if you're uh, so sleepy. I guess maybe she practices all the time and that's what makes her sleepy or something like that. Okay, Kana, nice to meet you. I'm Hiroto Iwata. Um, yeah. I'll remember it. <laughs> then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep. Oh, already? We could talk a little more. Sorry, I wanna talk to other. <laughs> Is she sleeping, standing up? She sure seems to be in a hurry. Wait, what was your name? I'm Hiroto Iwata. Oh, that's right, Hiroto. That was the name. Hey, are you ignoring me? Hiroto, yeah, I'll remember- <laughs> Why is she ignoring her? I'll remember it well. I only like boys, then I'm done here. Girl smell, are you still ignoring me? What is this anti-feminist bullshit? Yeah, I think she is. I'll just not speak. What is the point of getting mad about it? And well, I don't know about that either. Oh yeah, I've seen I did kind of not say anything about Kana. I'm sorry, girl. It's just my love for Satsuki overwhelms me. Just overwhelms me. And thank you, Stinkfly3. Mew survived V3. Did you read Harmonic Souls? Is that a fanfic? I was referring to um, the Wheel of Fate video that I did. I think in that video, I did like a video with the V3 characters with Wheel of Fate. And then I think Mew, yeah, she like got out. Oh, yeah, because she was the killer of chapter one. So she got out for free. And then um, I think she was just sending me or uh, she just sent Samugi like mean emails the whole time or something. Like taunting her. It's locked. Not a girl's girl. Not a girl's girl. Exactly. So sad. Oh. <laughs> Yay, Korean! <laughs> it's back! Oh, I missed this. Oh, I missed it so much. Okay. Let's see, who's this person? Oh. Ultimate maid? Oh, hello. Uh, who are you? I'm Hiroto Iwata. I'm a freshman at Hope's Peak Academy. Freshman? Really? Yeah, I got a new admission this year. I'm not a- uh, I'm not a suspicious- <laughs> Dude, nobody says that unless they are a suspicious person. I literally did not think you were a suspicious person until you said that. Don't worry, I'm not suspicious at all. I didn't say some weird shit at the beginning of this prologue about how I was gonna enter- infiltrate the academy. I see, I'm so confused because I suddenly woke up in an unfamiliar place. For some reason, when I woke up, the school was empty. There was only a note for the entrance hall to meet at 9 o'clock. 9 a.m.? The entrance hall? Mr. Hiruto said that as well. So I'm not the only one, Hiruto. Yeah, so rest assured. Have we met them? I don't think so. I see, all right. Then it's time to introduce myself. Does she just have her eyes closed all the time? I'm Hitomi Tadaira. Oh, wow, that's not... That reminds me a lot of Tyra. To Tyra. Oh, Celest. Oh, that's what's behind her. I was wondering. A Celest who entered Hope Speak Academy. You hear? I thought you were a maid, girl. Ultimate Celest. 
<laughs> I'm not a suspicious. I'm not a suspicious person. I'm not sussy at all. <laughs> Thank you, Dara, for uh, being a member for 28 months. Dang. And uh, yeah, I think I got every got all the other ones. Yeah, I've heard of it. A high school sell us to uh, swept competitions all over the world and held private concerts. Hearing the name reminds me vaguely. Uh, it's embarrassing to hear that. I still have a long way to go. Well, you entered this school, so you don't gotta be so humble. We know you're awesome, okay? If you put it that way, Mr. Hiro Hiroto is also a great person. You came to enter the school as well as me. Oh, this guy got into the school by luck. <laughs> don't compliment him too much. This guy is a loser. Let me spell it out for you. Loser. Oh, wow, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Damn. Oh, his name's Haruto. Okay, she was calling me Mr. Haruto, so I just assumed it was a last name. But, man, she's already showing me so much respect. Don't be discouraged, though. I mean, everybody loves an underdog story. Please, just, just stop. There must be tens of thousands of high school students across the country, and I think it's a great thing to be selected among them. That's almost like having a talent. Almost. Thanks. That's a compliment, I think. <laughs> cool. At least she was nice compared to all the other people. <laughs> cop loser, cop. <laughs> Can everybody just stop bullying me for 10 seconds? He should be the ultimate runner, man. Look at him. He's a runner. He's a track star. Oh, hey. Oh my god, is that Rontaro? What are you doing here, buddy? Let me uh, read this too. Thank you, Mads. Hey, Weeby, long time since I've catched a stream. Do you think you'll ever return to Undertale? Yes, I do plan on returning to Undertale. I'll probably just do like a let's play thing and for the last few parts, because I think it was towards the end of the game. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I do plan on doing it because I want to play Deltarune and I'll probably end up just doing like a let's play if I do any more Undertale Deltarune games, because I think it was just too stressful having the chat with me, honestly. But um, I do plan on continuing it eventually, someday. Okay, what's up, Rontaro? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that happening in your face? <laughs> Oh, I found two more! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Um, are you another one who enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy? So what the fuck? <laughs> Why is your face just a chat box? <laughs> oh, right. I'm the ultimate puzzle champion, Satoshi Shitanada. What about you guys? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, he looks like a little bird. You the weird looking guy? <laughs> Taru, oh, Taru, your voice. Actually, that does sound like a good idea. Nice to meet you. I'm Haruto Iwata. May you ego. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Haruto and Maya. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think the Taru, your voice fits him. Emo the ultimate emoji. <laughs> that is not Rantaro. <laughs> but puzzle champion, what kind of talent is that? The World Puzzle Championship, WPC, is an annual competition where people from all over the world gather to solve puzzle problems. I was the winner last year. Wow, that's a, Can you even see, dude? <laughs> it's no big deal. Most puzzles are standard, so they can be solved by repetitions. It's simpler than you think. Is it a big deal, though? If it were me, I wouldn't be able to. Well, you may be right, since there are ordinary people who can't even do these easy things. So you might be right, this deserves praise. <laughs> Thank you, I am cool, and I'm so handsome. Well, well, I'll go check elsewhere. See you later! <laughs> oh my goodness! Did he, did he just insult me? With that face? With the emoji face? And even it says on your face that you were admitted by lottery. Damn, I think I just got roasted by an emoji. I want to talk to you some more. Uh <laughs> oh, but he's so cute. I can't be too mad. I can't be too mad. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that shocked me. Oh, Korean! Oh, I missed you. Random Korean lines. God, it feels like... feels like I'm back. If only Kenjo was here. But instead we got emoji, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me read some of these uh, super chats. Thank you, in our China Tony Rose. Be my favorite. Fun fact. He is actually a Jigsaw World Championship that happened that happened in September. First compete complete 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle wins. The last two years was won by a guy named Alejandro Alejandro 
2023, time was 3759. Okay, interesting. Every time I hear Alejandro, I just think of that Lady Gaga song. Thank you, Jazzy Star, for the donation, too. And thank you, NR China 20 Rose again. I told you he'd love his face. God, he's just so handsome. It just took me by surprise how handsome he was. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, hang on. Um, oh, what a surprise. There was someone else besides me. We're both freshmen at Hope Speak Academy. Are you by any chance the same? You too? Um, then we'll be classmates. My name is Hiyori Tsubaki, ultimate chauffeur. Okay, chauffeur. I thought she was like a, a mailman or something. <laughs> Maybe I was just looking at the chat too much. It's even better if you call me the ultimate driver. Girl, how old are you? Are you all supposed to be freshmen? How old are freshmen? Like 14 or something? <laughs> like 15? How are you driving? A chauffeur, a driver. Sing chauffeur, I've been driving since I was six years old. Sing chauffeur makes it sound a bit cheesy. Personally, I want you to call me driver. Isn't the meaning exactly the same? Nani. Chauffeur, did you obtain a license at that age? Nani. Um, of course, not only for regular vehicles, but all four-wheeled ground vehicles that can be driven. From golf carts to heavy to tanks? <laughs> what? Just say the word. Yes, I also <laughs> was involved in some war crimes, but please do not ask me about that. Heavy tanks is already out of the realm of transportation. I mean, you know, sometimes Lady Gaga wants to show up to an event in a tank. Okay, don't judge her. Uh, should I start bragging about... Um, should I start bragging about myself again? This is when I was in LA on 2000 blah blah blah. Stop. So this is starting to be ominous. Did you wake up lying down on a desk too? Um, that's right. You guys too? We both woke up like that. Everyone went through the same thing. I wonder what happened. Ma. Hey, what are you thinking so deeply about? It's not a normal school. This is... Oh, <laughs> of course they're gonna knock us out. Oh my god. This is exactly like when... I'm just like trying to think of... I'm trying to think of something crazier than a tank. What, like, what would even be funnier than driving a tank? <laughs> like, I don't even know. This is just a school event. Oh my god, everything's normal. Okay, this totally reminds me of when I was chauffeuring for Britney Spears. School event, something like that. Can you even think about it that way? Um, why don't you think about it? Just thinking deeply. <laughs> I hate thinking, okay? It's hard. It makes my head hurt, okay? It makes my brain go no-no. Aw, -no. Uh, you're gonna be friends with what's-his-face, the streamer dude. Um, or ever, have you two met each other before? And we, not at all. It's just like you. We're meeting for the first time today. What? Um, then why are you going with someone you've only met for a few hours? Oh my god, a guy and a girl as well. I'm gonna spread some rumors. Isn't it, isn't this serious? Is he always a radar? It's starting to respond. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Ego, put up with it. I'll apologize in her stead. <laughs> okay, so you're the shipper. <laughs> Kind of does make me think she would be like a tabloid person or something just with her being already like Okay, so you guys are dating obviously a guy and a girl standing next to each other. Okay. Yeah, y'all are together, right? All right She's silly though. I like her. Oh, who's this kid? It's like a bowl cut. Oh god. That is a bowl cut. Dear lord Man, you gotta You gotta you gotta do something about that man. What is moving things around in the warehouse? Oh, oh there are other people. You must be s new students at Hope Speak Academy too, right? Hmm. Yeah, my name is Ego. Wait, Ego, I think I've seen this guy somewhere before. Huh? Oh, what? Oh yeah, the ultimate bowl cut. He had the biggest, <laughs> the biggest bowl cut on earth. God, that was crazy. Oh man, such a talent, such a talent. Way better than being the lucky student. No way. Is that perhaps Tomoe? Is he like a K-pop idol or something? Thank you for noticing. It seems my name is spread more widely than I thought. Um, are you famous or something? He's famous, but there are rumors that he's a high school student who conquered the runway. Oh, is he a model of a luxury brand only by his name? He got famous even with that, with that dumbass bull cut. That's how you know. That's how you know he's got the it. The it factor. I see. It's an it's an honor to meet you. And oh my god. Oh my. I'm like kind of fanboying right now. Um, are are you single by chance? It's hard to meet you in a place like this. After all, it takes people like you to to enter Hope Speak Academy. 
I'm honored to meet a beautiful person like you. I, Rintaro Tomoe, that is such a, like, pretty boy name, shall greet you formally. Kiss the hand! <laughs> now kiss my boot slave! Oh, and you don't have to use honorifics, because I don't consider myself an... <laughs> Why do I feel like he does consider himself to be hot shit, and he's just pretending? Oh, no, somebody say coconut head! <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate coconut head. <laughs> I'm just like so in awe of you, Rintaro. Like, how did you become so famous? How did you become a fashion I icon with that coconut head ass haircut? Like, how did you do it? <laughs> it looks like a poisonous mushroom. <laughs> Y'all are roasting him so, so bad in chat. I don't even have to use honorifics because I don't consider myself an object of exaltation. But if you do want to kiss my shoe, then I would, I would understand. I am just an emissary dispatch for the purpose of. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! For the purpose of spreading beauty as widely as possible in this world. Oh, it's just so hard being so beautiful. And that is why it's a great honor to meet you. I hope my beauty can make your day. <laughs> Um, what the fuck do you mean, beauty? You with that? <laughs> with that coconut head ass bowl cut of yours? Okay, okay, oh, oh, still stop it right there. Oh my god, if somebody does call him ugly, he's gonna freak out. <laughs> I'm Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> now he's the one who should be called Coco Head. Okay then, um, is it alright if I call you Rintaro? Of course, I'd be thankful if you did. He does give me Tamaki Suo vibes for sure. Forever, what were you just doing? Oh, I was just cleaning. I thought this warehouse was a bit messy, you know, I gotta turn everything beautiful, just like, just like me. <laughs> I have to give you all bowl cuts later. That will be, <laughs> he doesn't actually kill anybody. He just sneaks into the room at night and gives them all bowl cuts. They wake up in the morning, they're like, N Nani, <laughs> Nani the fuck? And they all murder him together as a group because of what he's, because of what he's done is so awful. I mean like killing somebody, we can forgive that. It's Dong and Rampa giving us all bowl cuts. Too far. Too fucking far, man. Why well, cleaning? Do you have cyanitis? Oh, do you have cyanitis? This is simply for my own self-satisfaction. Making this my job was my first step. Isn't it nice to see a well well arranged and beautiful room? <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> I see. Do you think it's strange? You mentioned I was a famous model, so you had expectations as a simple person. But perhaps you believe I'm a geek, a nerd, now that you've seen my hair? Uh, no, no, I, I think it's fine. If that's the case, I'm glad I'll continue to work. I'll look forward to seeing you at the entrance hall. Please preserve your precious beauty in this unfamiliar space. Why do I think he thinks we're all, like, ugly fucks? Like, I know you don't think I'm beautiful. Stop lying. You said he was a famous model. Since when was the definition of a model being paranoid? I had no idea either to be such an unusual person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you thought, oh my god! <laughs> was he eavesdropping? Oh, I knew it! I fucking knew you guys thought I was weird! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> I'm a very insecure person, okay? Oh, so you thought I was weird, huh? Oh god! What is it? I thought you were god. It's a bad habit to listen to other people's conversations. Um, I, I didn't mean to hear it, but the voice was just so loud that I unintentionally overheard it. If I caused trouble, I, Rintaro Tomoe, would like to sincerely apologize, but you better not be talking shit once I leave again. Rintaro then bent his upper body literally 90 degrees in this direction. You don't have to, oh my god. <laughs> she hates him so bad! <laughs> Stop talking shit about my bowl cut! I'm sorry, man. It's just so... It's just so bowl-like. I've never seen one. It's like it just makes his ears look huge, you know? It's like, why would you do that? You're a good-looking guy. You don't gotta do that. Oh, man. It was kind of funny, though, him lying about it. <laughs> oh, he's so obviously insecure. I guess it kind of makes sense if you're a model. Like, he probably has been, like, critiqued so much on his, like, looks and stuff. So he probably is, like, a very insecure person because of that. And maybe that's why he's so strange. But we'll see. We'll see. Let me read some of these super chats. 
Oh, man. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. This is the only person I've come across in any fan game that has Ultimate Puzzler, Jigsaw Puzzle specifically. And this is my favorite. There was somebody in Blowback, I thought, who did, like, puzzles or something. Or oh, wait, no, am I thinking about What's-His-Face? Uh, Lyle, actually, and, um... I guess, like, there's kind of people who do, like, some sort of puzzle stuff, but not Jigsaw Puzzles, um, specifically. Thank you, Bray the Cookie Monster, Yori. Hi, I'm your Uber driver this evening. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna be driving you in this massive military tank. Ah, <laughs> cute, slay. Oh, man, she would be the type of Uber driver that I hate, who's just, like, constantly talking to me. It's like, I don't, I don't want to talk. Leave me alone. Thank you, Shower Midnight. Don't lie, Hiro Hiroto. You, you're questioning humanity's taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sad. So true. Thank you, Omega Panda 76. Oh, new Dark and Rapid fan game. Also, hey, Weeby. Hey, what's up? Yeah, new fan game. I've been really. Fan Gan. I've been really excited about this one. It's so good so far. I think this one is still ongoing, too. Okay. Dude over here. Oh! Oh, you're so cute. You look a little shy, kid. Hey, wait. Oh! <laughs> Um, who are you? Why did you lock me in this? <laughs> Bro, are you just assuming I was the one who did this? Why did you lock me in this place? My family's poor, so you won't even get the ransom, and I'm a weakling, so even the shrimp boat won't accept it. Please, just let me go. My health isn't good, so I don't know what kind of what kind of voice should I give this kid? Like a Chihiro voice? But I feel like I already kind of did that for somebody else. My, my health isn't good, so even if you take my organs and sell them, you'll be able to get half the price. Really? I don't have any demand for my loot. There's no demand for my organs, man. Please leave me alone. Hey, don't get me wrong. We're trapped too. It's nice to say Timmy Turner. <laughs> so, so you are. Of course, so calm down. Oh, that's a little assuring. I'm really sorry. I misunderstood you. My thoughts were narrow again. Are you also a freshman in Hope Speak Academy? Yeah, this kid's probably got some trauma. Do be a little bit of Mekon vibes. Morty voice? <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. How, how did you know? <laughs> I don't know. I think I like the other one. <laughs> we are two. I am Hiro, Hiro, Hiruto Iwata, and this is Mayu Ego. I don't know if I can do a good, uh, a good Morty voice. I can try, though. Oh, I, I see. I'm Ryoan Mikawa. You might forget it later, but please, remember it well! Oh my gosh. Aw, oh, jeez, Rick! I don't know if I can do <laughs> Alright, Rion, can I ask, what's your talent? Um, actually, I don't have anything you could call a talent. What do you mean? Were you also admitted by lottery? Well, I entered as a, a freeder, the ultimate freeder? What, what is that? If you're a freeder, then you're a part-time job student? Oh, ultimate part-timer? Is that it? That's it? There's no part-time job that I haven't done. From part-time jobs? Maybe that's good. At convenience stores and restaurants, part-time jobs at doll masks, movie extras, art academy models. Oh my god. Building, cleaning, clinical trials, construction labor. <laughs> Always be like, organs, <laughs> getting organs, being an assassin, I've done it all. I feel like he probably has done some black market shit since uh, he's probably, uh, I don't know, pretty desperate for money, or at least it seems like it. I wonder what, why he needs money so bad, because you'd think he would have a, a lot more money from doing all those jobs, but I guess he could be in pretty bad debt because of his parents or whatever else. Picking up waste paper, wedding guest, detective agency, pet sitter, and so on. But Hope Speak scouted this as a talent for w whatever reason. That definitely doesn't sound right. Ego, there's no need to say that. Uh, that's the truth with only a few part-time jobs. Just to become an ultimate student, it's unreasonable. Hope Speak, Acad Hope Speak Academy, does that make any sense? It's beyond my imagination. I never thought there would be so many great students. I didn't even refuse the admission like an idiot and came all this way. No, I'm a fool, so I'm going to live like this forever, right? I can't contribute to society while working as a daily worker. I'm like a mealworm. Don't beat yourself up so much. Hope Speak Academy scouted you because they had an impression about you. And it coming from me, man, the ultimate lucky student who's an even bigger loser than you. Ah, uh, 
It's no use. He's not listening to any words, see? Ah, uh, poor kid. He seems interesting. I feel like he probably does have some, like, crazy trauma, though, honestly. We shall see. Oh, hey, there's somebody else here. Boo. Oh, you're pretty. You kind of remind me. Oh, you know what? I think she kind of reminds me of... <laughs> What's her name? Is it, like... Maya from Eden's Garden? The one with like, she's got like the, you know, animal mask on, but I think it's the outfit kind of reminds me of that. And uh, thank you, Kana, bro, coconut, coconut head boy is the size of the tanks. Coconut boy's head is the size of the tanks that one girl be driving. <laughs> Y'all are roasting my boy so bad. Oh, poor coconut head. <laughs> I will be calling him that the whole time though. Coconut head looking ass. Hey there, you are. Um, uh, there are others besides me. Are you a freshman from Hope Speak Academy? That's right, I'm Hiruto Iwata. And this one is, she kind of reminds me of Axel too, with like a little tear under her eye. Or Mara, that's probably is. May you ego. Oh, then you're the one who will be my classmates. My name is Misaki Kuzu, if possible, call me by my name, not by my last name. Okay, she seems friendly. Kuzu, that's a strange surname. All right, so I wish you could call me by my name in Japanese. Oh, oh, that's sad. Kuzu means garbage, damn. Wow, that sucks. Being got your last name literally meaning garbage? I'm gonna try. I've never called a girl by her, by her first name before. What kind of talent did Misaki get to enter the school with? Um, so you wanna know, it's kind of hard to say. What is it? What talent do you have? Um, how can I say this? Right, have you ever seen my name in the newspaper? Newspaper? I don't think I have. Aww. I understand. Is it a bit infamous? Well, it's not like I can hide it either. She's like a tattoo artist or something? Is that why she's got a face tat? Oh! Oh! Never mind! Jailbreaker! Uh, I got I got the face tat from one of the people I busted out of prison. Nice to meet you. I'm Misaki Kuzu, who entered with the talent of ultimate jailbreaker. Oh, wow. That's wild. Ultimate jailbreaker. Hi, I wonder if she's just- She's just helping people who get into jail on false charges. She's just a girl boss, right? Right? She's just helping people who went to jail for, like, weed. And, you know, just small stuff like that. She's helping the people who went to jail on weed. And then, like, after it made legal, she's helping them bust out. Because she's a girl boss. That's, that's what I'm going to believe about you, girl, until- <laughs> Until hearing otherwise. Oh, does she have a weapon on back of her? Oh, yikes. Jail, wait a minute. Jailbreaker. It, did I hear that right? It is embarrassing, but you heard correctly. I wondered how much, it, how much of a big deal it would go, but this is more than I expected. Are you serious? It's really surprising that I was selected as a student with such a talent. But I was sent a notification where I was to be re-examined. The letter definitely came from Hope Speak Academy. Yeah, I was like, Hope Speak Academy has no morals. So like, even if she was busting out like murderers, they'd be like, but it's such an amazing talent, we gotta research it. Hey, Wait, please don't look at me like that. I'm not the kind of person you think I am. Well. You mean as an active duty prisoner plus jailbreak, there's nothing strange to consider you a vicious criminal. The matter is too long to explain. Can you take a look at me this first? <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa, she got like a, um, what is it? Those little, like, little braces they put on people who like have, um, you know, like, what is it called? Gosh dang it, I can't think of the word. You know what I'm talking about though, the little things that like you can't leave a certain radius or else it'll go off. It's a leash that a prison I came from gave me. It's a condition for getting me into Hope Speak Academy. Oh, okay, she's busted herself out of jail too. I was like, kind of seemed like that was the implication when they were talking more, but, um, yeah, what are you doing to get in jail, girl? <laughs> I was like, what are you, what are you doing to get in jail, girly pop? Every move, house arrest, that's what I was thinking of. Every move is being monitored, and if I do anything suspicious, I will receive an electric shock. Kind of crazy, because she seems so uh, friendly. Also, is that blood on her jacket? It is kind of like a dark purple, which I think technically would be blood colored in this universe. Can we believe you? Oh. Well, there's no direct evidence. A lethal amount of current won't flow, so... Why don't I show you directly? There's no need to use such extreme methods. The authenticity of your words will be verified once we gather at 9 a.m. So until then, can you- can you back the fuck off? I understand. I think it'd be more fitting to listen to the school first after the meeting at 9 o'clock than to talk about it. Okay. 
Yeah, I think it'll be convenient for both of us. So she can't hurt anybody or kill anybody without the brace going off. I feel like she is gonna be a killer though. Cause I feel like that's gonna be like a good excuse. Like, a, I wonder, maybe if the engineer girl could like, well, I don't know, they don't really seem to like each other very much, but if they work together, she could like kind of pop off the bracelet or like make it to where she could take it off. And then, no, but why would she do that? I don't know, I feel like there's gonna be some loophole though. She's gonna be a killer and there's gonna be some loophole to where like, she's gonna be like, but I have the bracelet on, I can't, I couldn't possibly kill anybody. And then, you're gonna look, actually, maybe I should give her a southern accent. <laughs> I wanna give somebody a southern accent. But um, then it's gonna be like, oh, we found out that actually your bracelet's fake or whatever. I, I feel like it could be something like that. And thank you, Quinn uh, Martell. Hi, Weeby. First time I've been able to catch the stream. Thanks for keeping us entertained while these winter storms are blowing through. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Everybody stay safe. Yeah, I know there's a lot of, a lot of winter storms going on right now. It is cold out there, man. Is this for real? <laughs> Really, you just saw the bracelet she was wearing. If what she said is true, the place where she's from is probably a fairly large prison. There's no way a faculty like a juvenile detention center would provide bracelets with such advanced technology. Isn't it too dangerous to be in the same class? The Academy originally said that even criminals would be willing, I guess, I don't know, it's like she is a criminal, allegedly, so, um, I don't know, it's like, would she be a killer or would that be too obvious? I could see her being really nice, you know what I mean? It really looks like a forbidden action bracelet. Oh, it does! That's so funny. It does kind of look like that. The Academy originally said that even criminals would be willing to be scouted if they had exceptional talents, but I never thought that such a person would be admitted. Oh god, you're right. Thank you, Shadow Our Midnight. Kinjo would definitely hate her. I see a fight. Oh my god. We just like walk into the next room and Kinjo's there. God, I wish. <laughs> Did I hear that there was a dirty criminal here? Dirty criminal scum. I think this was, uh, yeah, that was where, uh, Bullcut, Bullcut Boy was. I think, um, do I go into like the gym or something? I don't think I ever went in there. Oh yeah, the cafeteria too. I don't think I ever did that as well. Smooth criminal. Nobody's here? Oh, okay, there's somebody. Got a little cape on? Oh. Hey, wait a moment. Ask, uh, hey, wait a moment. Ask something. This is a surprise. A short student with a very versatile physique approached us. The distant features attract attention. Distinct features attract attention. Oh, should I give him like a Ganta voice? Kind of <laughs> talking like, I don't know, Tarzan or something. You, freshman at Hope Speak Academy. Yeah, that's right, but that tone. Me, <laughs> me, Tarzan. <laughs> Are you a foreigner? So. Affirmative. Small island in Europe. Maybe I'll give it like, I guess like a deeper voice like Kenjo, but just kind of talk like that. Affirmative. Small island in Europe, in my hometown, which doesn't appear on maps. Arrived in Japan as an international student. Okay, you're talking more normal now. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was gonna be like, I grew, I was raised by monkeys on an island. On, I don't know, the middle of nowhere. But how do you notice that I am a foreigner? I think everyone would notice, would think you're a foreigner when they hear your way of speaking. Where the hell did you learn Japanese for your accent to be like that? I apologize. I tried to learn Japanese. Learn Japanese. Try, I did. But time passed in vain. Problems with tone still exist. Don't beat yourself up too much. Your accent and your pronunciation are good, so that's- Oh, you're just being nice, Hiroto. I think you should just work on the order of the words. It is honestly really confusing. Anybody trying to learn Japanese, if, especially if you're like English speaking beforehand, like the order of sentences is totally different. It's really confusing. That's too much. That's too much praise. Shh, come on, come on. Let me, let me cook. Thank you for your kind words. Good deeds are virtues. Anyways, I don't know yet. Don't know you yet. I don't know yet your names. Come to think of it, we haven't even introduced ourselves yet. Justin Blade. Oh, <laughs> what a cheesy name. <laughs> At least you don't have a bull cut, dude. A mighty nice morning, if you ask me. I am Justin Blade. And I came just in time to tell you my name is Justin Blade. I feel like, God, I'm just so used to Ace Attorney. I'm like looking for a pun. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Hiruto Iwata, and this is maybe. Is that really your name, bro? And I said he was a bounty hunter? Iwa, sorry. Can you repeat? 
Hiroto Iwata. Apologies. Japanese name. <laughs> Difficult to remember, as I'm not familiar with it. It's okay, you don't have to rush. Remember it slowly. By the way, what's your talent? You, uh, you ask me question. Bounty hunter, I am the. Huh? <laughs> I kind of want to, like, mix up the words more to make him sound even, uh, weirder. <laughs> make his estimate structure sound worse. What? Our country. Nation royal, A. Eh? Police system exists, the. But system bounty hunters still. <laughs> okay, I won't go too far. The police system exists. But the bounty system still exists. Wait, what? So, wait. Uh, the bounty police system exists, but the bounty. Police system doesn't exist? Track down, apprehend, and report criminals with bounties. That's my job. Oh, oh, you kind of are like a Kenjo then, aren't you? I can't tell if he was trying to say that maybe police didn't exist and it's just like replaced with bounty hunters, but I can't totally tell. Is that, that is still there? Or is he, I guess he's just saying both are there, but I guess they might work together. I guess that might be what it is. I was just like, why would he say that they both exist like next to each other? That is still there. I thought the bounty system existed in the Middle Ages. Exceptions are always present. Of course, civilians everywhere. Therefore, the protection of the state is insignificant. Hence, dangerous work. But compromise. <laughs> it's gonna be like Kenjo. Criminal, bad! Stop, criminal! <laughs> but compromise on injustice? That is even more dangerous. Oh my god, he is a Kenjo, Kenny. The story lengthens. I'll go look somewhere. Somewhere, look, I will. He's nice, I, I think. It's not that I don't agree with you, but first, he might have to learn Japanese again. I'll learn more in the future. He's got this. Criminal bad. Me no like criminal. Like criminal, do not I. Okay. Here's a person. Okay, I was thinking, I was like, your sprite kind of looks like the other girl at the beginning. So you're not, not in the game. I guess she, I might have actually been, like, touring with all the other students, though, if I would have chosen her. Hey, you there. Are you a freshman at Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> oh, that's a relief. I was worried because I thought I was the only one. Are you a freshman, too? Yeah, both of us are. Um, when I woke up, the people gathered in the building that looked like a school were also freshmen from Hope Speak Academy. Oh, is she a chef? That makes sense. I guess it makes sense why she's in the kitchen, too. And this building must be Hope Speak Academy. Is that likely? We haven't confirmed it yet. I see. Ah, uh, my introduction was a bit late. I am a Katori Fukuoka, the ultimate baker. Okay, she is a baker. Nice. <laughs> like a little face. <laughs> so, so uwu. -woo. Baker. Right, do you know the bakery code? <laughs> it's like ultimate baker. Wait, brownies. It's like, oh, that's who, that's who Kuzu was busting out of jail. Right, do you know the bakery coterie? Of course, there's no one in Japan that doesn't know about it, right? <laughs> you should try my special brownies. Aha, uh -huh, wink, wink, hit in, wink, wink. The most famous in Japanese history, the confectionery bread franchise that runs the show road. What success, even to enter overseas, you know it. As for me, the head baker of the Great Katori, all bread recipes were created by me. Um, how about it? It's really not inferior to be called an ultimate student, right? Really, I've never heard of the name. A loser! Huh, well, that might be, you know. I feel like everybody's so judgmental in this group so far. Like, every time I get a talent, they're like, okay, wow. Like, while well, you're a baker, <laughs> lame. Lame. Um, I'm the engineer. Um, I don't know. I feel like they. She. I guess it's mostly a what's her face. It's been kind of judgmental, but you know. Thank you, Bree, the Cookie Monster, Weeby San, Wa Totemo, Yasashi Desu. <laughs> yasashi means good. No, what was like a. I don't know what Totemo means. Totemo Yasashi Des. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Satan's Frog. Do you know the Muffin Girl? The Muffin Girl. The Muffin Girl. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. I like your icon too. You get a little frog. Just like my shirt. What's that guy? What about that guy over there? Of course, you've heard of it, haven't you? Well, if I did, didn't want to eat breakfast, I usually bought bread from one of those bakeries. <laughs> yeah, so you're a customer, right? How is it? Isn't it absolutely delicious? Once you taste it, you won't ever think of other brands. She's saying that, but I feel like it's probably like the McDonald's of like bread or something. You know what I mean? It's just like bread you buy in a store. It's just like a big, you know, chain or something. 
Yeah, amazing. Oh, totemo means really very. Oh, so it's very weeby. It's very delicious. That's what it was. I can feel her overflowing self-love from here. Then please continue using our brand. I'll go so I'll go somewhere else. And thank you for buying my products. She's tiresome. You shouldn't get close to people who like to talk to others about their superiority. Well, don't you ever <laughs> don't you talk about your own work? Yes, yeah, so what? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, but I'm cool, okay? I'm different than other girls. Don't talk to those other girls. Only talk to me. Because I'm not like them. I'm cool. I'm a cool girl. Bread Donalds. <laughs> Our brand, Bread Donalds. How were they? Huh? Yeah, they're students. What do you think of them? Oh, yeah, thank you. Show our midnight. Think Code Tori will be evil because she wants. Because she wants. Because she was chosen? Um, uh, not really sure. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly, who's going to be evil or who's going to be. I guess more of a stinker so far. We'll see though. Probably know better once we kind of go like uh, later, you know, farther. But thanks for uh, the donation. Appreciate you. The other students, what do you think of them? They are going to be exhausting to be around. Over. I guess I didn't have to ask. I hate them all, especially that coconut head ass. Then are we going in? Why are you hesitating? Let's go. We stood in front of the entrance hall where we were told to meet up. The clock is about to strike nine o'clock. Recalling the faces of the others beyond the door, I paused a little before opening the door. I was like, yeah, did anybody count? Is it only 15 so far? Interesting. Does that mean there's a secret student hiding inside? A bitch, is he finally, finally gonna make his appearance? And... Oh, everybody looks so good! Well, besides emoji face <laughs> and coconut head, everybody else looks great though. Oh man, the art for this game is so good, so pretty. Oh, they're both here. Oh, I don't know, I do not remember everybody's names. Hurry up, it's about 9 a.m. Oh, okay, okay. Um, finally we are gathered together in beauty. As soon as I stepped on the entrance, I heard a loud voice. Guys, hold on. Since everyone is gathered, I have something I want to ask you, and I wish you would cooperate. If there's any of you who doesn't fit with this situation. Sako paused for a moment. At around 8 a.m., Hopes Academy notified me to gather at the entrance hall, and I headed towards this place. Oh, they told her 8 a.m.? However, I fainted for unknown reasons and woke up in a classroom inside the building. Hmm. Then I found a note on a desk telling me to gather at the entrance hall by 9 a.m. and then come here. Does anyone have a different story? Nope, nope. All the same. No one raised their hand. Okay, yeah, only 15. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Nova X Retro, Ultimate Digital Artist. Hi, Weeby. Hey, thanks for stopping by the stream and appreciate the dono. Everyone is in the same situation. I'm not sure why, but I know these are very strange circumstances. Um, oh god, I love you so much, Shoji. This is just an event from the Academy. Couldn't that be it? If not, it's kind of scary. Do you guys think it's scary? Smash that like button and send a donation if you think it's scary. There's rumors that Hopes the Academy is a very unique place, but this may also be the Academy's plan. A school building, an event where they faint and imprison students. Think again and say it out loud. Fainted in prison? If the school is responsible for the whole process that happened to us here, then it would be the school's fault that we fainted, and for the entrance and windows to be blocked. That is often called as fainting and imprisoning. Yeah. Um, that is true, but isn't it like a crime? Well, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do a crime. Hiori. Hope's Peak. I heard that it was the prestigious school. I don't think they would have done this. <laughs> oh my God! This guy. <laughs> I can't get over his face. Do you even have an inside of your mouth, dude? Is it just skin there? It's like, I mean, it's just skin that you see through the hole. It's like, oh my god, nobody, nobody questioning this? Nobody questioning how this guy looks? It's just their emoji people here? The most questionable thing is, even though it's 9 a.m., nothing is even happening, right? There should have been additional instructions. I, th I think I was thinking about giving her a country accent. Just because I feel like her... Voice is too similar so far to um, the engineer girl. 
I know, I think it should have been 9 a.m. now. I, li I like the country accent on her. You're getting the Karen voice, partially just because you got red hair. I think so. I think too. Something wrong. At this point, I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. What does the school want from us? It was then when Rentaro finished speaking. Uh-oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I missed you, Monokuma. Mic test! Mic test! This is a school announcement! It's a school announcement! Are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, well then! Ahem. To the new students, the entrance ceremony is about to begin! You know, he might not have a sexy voice like Monokuro, but Monokuma, he's a staple. He's a staple. Please gather to the gym immediately! I love your little old lady Mickey Mouse voice. At the end of the announcement, the entrance hall became noisy again. You see now? It was an event. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, OPC Academy is always, everybody knows the headmaster has always been a talking bear. God, finally, I feel so much better now. Oh, he's so stupid. Um, so there was someone else here too. Maybe they are a faculty member? Of course you would think that you got your eyes closed, girl. Did y'all not see the bear? There was something worries me. The voice. Huh? Oh. Was I the only one who thought it was it was I the only one who thought that Mickey Mouse ass voice was weird? The same goes for me, like well, they were serious. It's a weirdly frivolous feeling that doesn't fit the public situation. Oh, they're so silly. Um, is that so I didn't notice? Anyways, I think it would be good to move. Talking theories here won't accomplish anything. I agree, I'll move. I guess we get going, we better get going. That's right, let's go, let's quickly go there. Okay. Oh, can I talk to these people a little bit before leaving? I'd like to think of it as an event prepared by the school, but if we listen to Miss Ego, it may not be like that. Oh, thank God I have Miss Ego to think for me. I'm confused too. Still, I'm going to the gym uh, first. They told us to go to the entrance hall. Then they tell us to go to the gym. Can't we relax a little bit? The way they communicate is also different. It was through an individual contact, then through a note, and now a school announcement. Hopefully this will be the end, right? Otherwise, I'll just ignore it from now on. Oh, Delulu. Oh, I feel so good to be back. To be back in Hope's Academy being Delulu. <laughs> okay, literally! Like, at least there should be dark. Like, is it just skin underneath your mouth, man? Like, what? What? What is wrong with your face? <laughs> Things are getting more and more interesting! Aren't you worried? <laughs> <laughs> We've been in prison, but things uh, that put my life at stake have not happened yet. So I'm good! Plus, I'm immortal. <laughs> An immortal being, so that's great. Until then, I want to enjoy the suspenseful atmosphere. Are you an alien? Why does nobody question you, man? <laughs> uh, yeehaw. It would be better not to approach Kuzu. Oh, come on! She's probably the nicest one here, honestly. Is this the start of the entrance ceremony, finally? I hope so. <laughs> what else if not? <laughs> Let's hurry and check. Of course, what else? I'm so glad I'm not jinxing it by saying that. I have no idea what the heck is going on. The same goes for me, but if we go to the gym, maybe there will be some clues? You, you think so? Yeah, let's go. Uh, okay, jeez, uh, Rick, jeez. Oh. Hey, hey, Jumanji, how do you feel about the announcement? I cannot get over her name. Ugh, no one knows what kind of scenery you will encounter at the top of the mountain you climbed on. Uh, you're gonna be all, like, vague and mysterious. It's just a false rumor that there's something shining there. Eh, hey, what? <laughs> I don't get it. F. Scott Fitzgerald's phrase from The Great Gatsby. It's, isn't it similar to the current situation? Oh, you're acting like you're such a reader, girl. Everybody knows everybody was forced to read that book in, like, fifth grade. Eh. Is there anything else? Nothing else. I still don't understand what she means. Yeah, it's probably close to like middle school or something. <laughs> Poor minimum wage worker got dragged into this. <laughs> it's like, I don't even want to get accepted by Holmes Peak Academy. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. There's more people in here. I never thought Holmes Peak Academy would be such an unpleasant place. 
They lock people up all of a sudden, and then they suddenly do this with the broadcast. Well, the broadcast without a single person leading them. It's truly arbitrary. Yes, well, even if we talk about it, we don't really have any options. I feel like he's doing, like, the reverse, like... <laughs> the reverse, Kenji! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna like you, uh, Rintaro. You're probably one of my other favorites. Even with the coconut head. Even though you got that coconut head ass haircut. I still love you. Why don't we say the following after entering the gym first? What a... I feel like that's still, like, a gay... A gay pose, you know what I mean? To be honest, I feel the same way, but let's go in first. I'm dying to know what the heck is going on. Then I'll open the door up, okay? Okay, let's go. As soon as Shoji finished talking, I opened the door. I kind of do feel like Hiru Hiruto and Shoji are my favorites. I do like uh, Jumanji a bit too, though. She's, uh, I don't know, very uh, mysterious so far. And then, something crazy happened. Something, cr the last thing I would have expected... Well, they told us to come here, but it seems certain that no one is here. Sate. I think this is the school's gym, apart from the wide space. It seems like no one is here. At <laughs> least always recording. <laughs> this guy is way too excited about this. I cannot understand. What in the world is going on? It was then that the students' murmurs began to grow louder again. Until we heard that voice. Hello! Did y'all get together? So, I can start? Oh my god, it's time for my premiere! The Monokuma Show! Woo! It is kind of funny when the students are always like, This is the last thing I would have expected ever after playing like, I don't know, like 20 different Danganronpa <laughs> games and fan games. <laughs> like, no way, it's Monokuma? What? What? Mind blown. Nobody- oh, nobody could speak. What? Why did you all become mute? Like eating honey! I appear so astonishingly! Please, give me a round of applause! Oh, aren't I cute? The same voice from the school announcement. It was painted half black and half white. What appeared before us was the shape of a small bear. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. How? What is that? A, a teddy bear? What is this? Do dolls move and talk on their own these days? A doll, excuse me! Hearing things like that hurts me! Oh, this kind of makes what's-her-face seem, um, ego seem kind of sus, right? Because she literally said she works in robotics. Girl! Girl, have you made any Monokuma robots? Just, just a thought, you know, food for thought. Oh, Jumanji means ten letters. Oh, okay, interesting. A doll, excuse me! Hearing things like that hurts me! It hurts my pride! I am the headmaster of Homestick Academy! Monokuma! Calm down, everyone. It must be a robot. I'm sure it's being controlled somewhere. It's easy to move! It's easy to control! I'm only Monokuma! I'm not a puppet being manipulated! Um, can animals- uh, Oh, it's so cute! It's like, I love animals! Can animals look like that and exist biologically? It even has a human- It even has human vocal cords! Approaching it from a biological point of view, Miss Kazuki! But be aware, things often appear in this world that are hard to understand by your general notions! Think of me as part of it too! While everyone was shocked, Monokuma naturally began to say what he had to say. Now I'll proceed with the entrance ceremony while taking advantage of this quiet moment! You are the treasures of mankind, who will grow into valuable talents in this world! Therefore, please live together in this school from now on! What do you mean? I was like, I wonder if they kind of made her look like Junko on purpose a little bit too. Like the pink hair. I feel like she doesn't look super like Junko, but it definitely does make me feel like she's the mastermind. It's like you work on robots, you got pink hair. Like something's, something's not adding up, girly. Something's not adding up. And thank you, Spanish Fly 120. I always read Satoshi's last name as Shit Panda. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> what do you mean that's it? All the windows and doors are blocked, so you're saying we should stay inside. Yeah, that's it. As you have seen beforehand, I have prepared separate lodging facilities. Um, say what? Um, really? Are you saying that we can only stay inside this place? You understand correctly. You must live a communal life with only yourselves. How, um, how long is this communal life? That's, of course, indefinitely! Did you think I would let you go after a day or two? Communal life indefinitely. Infinite days and infinite nights to live in this school. 
At the sound like thunder from the clear sky, voice burst out simultaneously. What? What are you talking about? Aren't you saying you're going to lock us up? We have a home and a family too. Uh, not anymore, you don't. Oh uh, yeah, it's like a pinkish blonde. It's like a pinkish blonde, okay? Right, Junko's got like a pinkish blonde hair, I'd say. I feel like sometimes it looks pink and sometimes it looks blonde. But I still, I still, I don't know. I still think she's sussy. I still think it was done on purpose. We have a home and a family too. What do you mean we can only live here? Is there a hidden camera? If there is, then is this the extension of the event? <laughs> Are you crazy, human? This narrow school home. Are you out of your mind? I'm not a human! I I'm a bear! And about narrow, that's not it if you see how big the dormitory is. Um, that's not the problem. Why the hell do we have to live here? That's because it's dangerous outside! Since you all are valuable, this will be your society from now on! Ew. This does seem to be, like, very reminiscent of Danganronpa 1. I wonder if he's gonna, like, I don't know, I feel like it's not gonna be the same twist as Danganronpa 1 at the end of it, right? Where, like, oh, the world's destroyed and you guys are locked in here because you're the last hope of humanity, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like this line is kind of implying that that's the case, and I guess, like, I kind of wonder if he'll, like, just tell them that. Like, oh, you guys are the final hope for humanity. But then it'll be, like, a different twist at the end. But the fact that we're at Hope Speed Academy, the fact there's only 15 students, it is very, very reminiscent of Dog and Rumpel 1. I wonder if it is going to kind of, like, mirror the deaths and stuff of that game. I wouldn't be shocked. Since you all are valuable, this will be your society from now on. If that's the case, I think that uh, Sleepy Girl is going to die first. Because she, well, she looks like Sayaka. But I don't know if her personality is very similar to Sayaka. Now that I think about it. Well, well, this will be your society from now on. I don't feel like the characters are really similar to the Danganronpa 1 cast. So far, at least. Forget about the outside and live here. Well, first of all, most of the students don't seem to agree with your idea. Aw, oh, seriously. Kids these days, they don't understand a thing. I was going to feed you and a place, got a place to sleep for you for free. But to think they would kick such an opportunity like this. Well, this headmaster Monokuma is a generous bear, so he's ready to embrace even those students. Uh, reminds me of uh, the spare time. Wasn't her name uh, Taruko, the main girl? Oh, she's so slay. She was just like, oh, great, I'm moving in. <laughs> Sounds awesome, Daddy Monokuma. There is only one way out. That is called graduation. Oh, what is it? It's simple. You guys gathered in here in order to form a kind of community. Therefore, if you break the rules of that community, you'll be expelled from that community. That means you're being sent out of the school. Um, breaking the rules? All the students were focused on the shape of a bear on the podium. However, the next remark that came out immediately afterwards was far beyond the comprehension of ordinary people. Killing members of that community! In other words, murder! Time and space! Oh, time and space seem to have stopped for a moment. No one opened their mouths. No one lifted a finger. That's crazy. Murder? Uh, killing people? Uh, I would never. In normal times, an act that a normal person would not have even considered. Monokuma told us that was the only way to get out of this academy. It is kind of crazy that, like... I don't know, they always start killing so fast in Danganronpa. I guess because, you know, Daddy Monokuma. <laughs> That's kind of fun to say. You know, Daddy Monokuma's always giving him incentives and stuff. Such an act that common sense can't afford to even understand. Words spraying out without a thought. What? What? Did I hear that correctly? Murder? Yeah, you heard that right. If you want to go to the school, kill someone! Stabbing, beating, crushing, strangling, killing, electricity, dripping! Electroding in any way. Well, in this space, it would be impossible to kill by dropping someone. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe if we go to the strawberry house or whatever. What is this? You you are crazy. Kill people? Yeah, what's the problem? Murder is not as difficult as you might. It's super easy. Oh, you should seek these kids, man. They, they killed the drop of a hat, dude. You can cut them with just one knife. That's not the issue. The act of killing people. Such an ugly deed that makes me sick to even put into words. Agreed. Murder is a terrible crime. One that should never happen. Pure evil. You must be crazy. Please stop. Murder is not an act to e even mention as a joke. Hey, you guys are talking too much. Banana, na, dana, dana, na. It is not a stupid joke. How many times do I have to tell you? There's a limit to my patience. 
I do like how it has these little uh, icons next to the names. I don't know if you guys have noticed those, but kind of helps you remember who's talking. Since it kind of has like a reflection of their talents, I think. Like Hiruto, he's got the uh, lucky clover. The atmosphere turned upside down in an instant. Monokuma's playful tone was gone, and I could feel his voice sharpen. From now on, this is your home, your society, and your universe. If you're not going to commit murder, you have nothing more to say. So wouldn't it be better to keep quiet? Rintara's like, I only slay on the runway. Slaying in the padway, I can never. Well, to sum up, you have to live within the school. But anyone who breaks the rules can graduate. Be aware. Hey. Huh? huh? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Justin. Every time I see that name, too, I just think of, like, Justin Bieber or, like, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I got too much of a pop culture mind. It took just a moment for Justin to jump onto the podium. He's gonna be the, uh, the dude, the Owada. What the heck are you doing? What you say? I don't understand it. Real I literally don't understand it. I still don't know Japanese. Justin Blade was grabbing Monokuma by the collar and lifted him up. Whoa, you can't do this, Justin student! <laughs> Violence against the teachers! It's against the school rules! I can't. I don't understand what you're saying. Trash like you, not worthy of respect. <laughs> I literally don't know. <laughs> no, you can't. I gotta, I gotta think of more puns for Justin. Justin time. Justin his face. Justin, you just can't do it. In <laughs> It doesn't work. Let go of me! I made it clear! I won't listen to your words. Your ideas. Justin seemed genuinely angry with Monokuma. His tone was funny, but his expression looked more serious than ever. I guess it's just kind of funny, too, because everybody else has, like, these super Japanese names. And he's just like, Justin! Nina, Nina. Well done, Justin. Push on! Everyone, are you watching? Just now, Justin showed up just in time. Who I introduced earlier is really educating the berries fucking him up. He's way tougher than I thought. Oh. Oh. Oh! It's not working. What pla- what- what beeping noise is that? Oh! Oh! The bear doesn't move? Tell me now. What's going on? Oh! Oh! Hey, does that strange- where's that strange noise coming from? Uh, I think it's coming from that doll. What do you think, chat? Open your mouth. Where did attitude- <laughs> Where did attitude go? Oh god, Justin. You need to <laughs> you need to back off, bro. That sound, could it be? Justin, throw that bear right now! Yeah. What you say? Just throw it now! I look she see it explode. At Ego's urging, Justin threw the Monokuma with an expression of helplessness and almost at the same time. Boom! Oh, oh nice! Look at that! We do get a little uh CG. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Oh, I like his uh, little icon, too. The eye. The alls. All-seeing eye. Did it explode? Launch the bear. Hold on. What the hell? A bomb? It was inside the teddy bear? For the first time. Close to explosion. This much. <laughs> oh, my God. I love him, too. <laughs> He's so silly. But as a result, the teddy bear... But as a result, the teddy bear disappeared. The moment she said that... I'm back, bitches! Sorry, disappoint. Do I look like I'll disappear so easily? Oh, it, it appeared again. Hey, be quiet. How in the hell did you show up again? You should have blown up. Oh, there's a whole army of me! Didn't I tell you earlier? In this world, things that often happen are hard to understand with your general notions. Attacking me, the head of the academy, is a clear violation of school rules. No matter how much you don't like your school teacher, do you have to knock him down? Do you have to hurt him like this? Well, it's the first time though, so I'll close my eyes to Justin's actions. Just be careful next time! I can't believe someone like you as a teacher. This is so crazy. This is so not slay. It's out of the question. You're just a maniac who's pushing for murder, aren't you? Then you won't need to commit murder. Who is the one threatening to kill someone? I'm leaving that up to you guys. It's not me who told you have to kill someone. Oh, wait, I did. But you don't have to do it. I'm not a fault here. That's the point. This bastard is a mouthful. Yeah. Wait, Ego. Hey, Teddy Bear, according to what you said, as long as someone kills a person, they can leave this academy, right? Criminal, why are you asking that now? Are you out of your mind? 
There's nothing wrong with being aware. Didn't you see the teddy bear just explode? Our lives depend on it. I kind of feel like she was going to be like the more reliable person. I could see her being reliable, but then she kills. It's like she gains our trust and we're like, we shouldn't have been judging criminals anyways. Yeehaw. But then all of a sudden, then she kills somebody. And we're like, no, Masaki, how could you do this after we trusted you? <laughs> nothing wrong with being aware. Didn't you see the teddy bear just explode? Our lives depend on it. I just thought, I mean, actually, she would probably be the most helpful since she's literally the ultimate jailbreaker. <laughs> All of a sudden, they stop judging her and they're like, um, bestie, you have a lot of experience breaking out of places. So, like, maybe, maybe you can help us. Justin is kind of doing like a Kinjo, Kenny sort of thing since, uh, <laughs> I should be sucking Kinjo. Like, I guess just call him Justin Kinjo now. <laughs> the criminal scum. He is uh, talking about criminals. I just thought, no matter what speak, what it speaks about, we shouldn't, we should at least listen as much as possible. It doesn't mean anything else, so calm down. That's right, as expected of Miss Kuzu. Who escaped, uh, Miss Garbage, who escaped from a prison that boasts tight security in one night. She has a good head on her shoulders. Oh. Wait, then that ultimate jailbreaker talent is real? Of course. What Miss Kuzu said about the bracelet is also true, so don't worry too much about sharing your life with a criminal. Well, in the first place, Miss Trash isn't even that ferocious of a criminal. I feel like he is saying Miss Kuzu just to like kind of spite her since she doesn't like her last name. All right, then I will explain the rules about murder right now. As Miss Kuzu asked, you can't just escape the school by killing. The person who committed a murder has to finally pass the class trial. Class trial? Yes, a game in which truth and lies cross countless times. That is the exciting class trial. Oh. Nice screenshot. Is this from the anime, actually? Kinda looks like anime Monokuma. From now on, we'll call the student who committed the murder the Black Inn, and the rest of the innocent students the Spotless. If a murder occurs, the students including the Black Inn will participate in the class trial after collecting evidence for a certain amount of I know this. At the class trial, the students must present the evidence they have obtained and point out who the Black Inn is. If the students point out the Black Inn, then they alone shall be punished, and the Spotless will continue their communal life of peace and happiness. But if the students point out someone who isn't the blackened, then the blackened will escape the school and everyone else will be punished. This is so sad. In short, killing is not the end, but it is necessary to kill without anybody knowing. If it ends up being visible to others, then that's it. You realize that, right? The bizarreness is unbelievable. Seriously, this plan. Hey, you've been talking about a punishment for a while. What is the punishment? Oh, that's a surprise. Well, I do admit it was I was a bit indirect. I think it was Dongrapa 1 where like, yeah, I don't even think Leon knew he was going to get killed. He was just like, okay, slap my wrist, Monokuma. Whatever you want to do. I did, I did kind of feel bad for him. He was a bit of a douche, but <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. Leon, he wasn't terrible, but he definitely isn't the most likable character from the first game. Well, I do admit I was a bit indirect. It's easier to say execution. Execution? I did feel really bad for him though, with uh, not really knowing <laughs> about the death part. Yeah, execution, the death penalty. <laughs> Zap in an electric chair, suffocate with poison gas, a body torn apart by a hurricane. Such are these bloody executions. Dang, the hurricane one sounds kind of crazy. Ba -da -na -na -na. Then if we find out who the culprit is, only the culprit will die. But if we name the wrong one, uh, we're gonna die? Chat, what do you think about this? It's so crazy. Yeah, that's it. It's good that you understand so quickly. You're the stupidest one in the group, too, so I was really worried about you. If even the most stupid looking Shinano. <laughs> oh, did he really did say that? If even the most stupid looking Shinano. Under... If even that dumbass gets it, then I guess the rest of you got it, too. Hey, he just called me stupid. By the way, if you violate the rules, such as touching me, the headmaster, you'll be punished, so be careful! Yes to Justin over there. You be especially careful, bitch! Crazy. Completely. Wait a minute, then how do we check for those violations? We have to know the school rules to pay attention to our actions. That's a good question! So I prepared something for you! As soon as he finished speaking, Monokuma held up what was in his paw so that everybody could see it. Um, what is that? This is the Electronic Student Handbook! It's something I prepared for a convenient school life for the students. 
It's completely waterproof and boasts with durability that won't break, even if an elephant steps on it. Oh, it can be said that it is necessary for your school life, providing certain services such as viewing the school map and checking the school rules. The monopad! Check the rules carefully. I've said it many times, a violation of the school rules are not tolerated. Now the entrance ceremony ends with this. You got questions? No, right, good, bye! <laughs> the enjoyment of a rich and gloomy school life. Deuces! <laughs> okay, Monokuma. Man, I can't believe you roasted my boy. With those words, Monokuma disappeared. As it suddenly appeared, leaving behind only the students who couldn't hold their breath. Oh, what have I witnessed? A black and white bear is forcing us to kill? Am I, am I missing something? Are these the side effects of last week's <laughs> what? Part-time job for clinical trials. Finally, sh oh my God, are you getting poisoned? Part-time jobs for clinical trials finally showing up. I was supposed to have some, I was supposed to have some hallucinogenic symptoms. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm sorry, but what you saw was real. I just can't understand it. Imprisoning communal living class. I knew he was doing some sketchy stuff to get money, man. Class trial? Damn that bear, must get out soon. Yeah. Wait, wait, everybody calm down. Let's go back to what the bear said. According to him, we basically have to live confined to this school forever. And if you want to get out of the school, he told us to commit murder and pass the class trial. On the day of the entrance ceremony, someone kidnapped us and imprisoned us to the school and suddenly murder? Oh, what is this? Oh, jeez. It's a joke. It, it's a joke. Chat, chat, tell me it's a joke. Can you, are you seeing this chat? Can you believe this chat? Oh my God. Oh, no. This is real. It can't, girl, you already, you already know what's going on. This is real. It can't be a joke. She just seems like she's all knowing. You know what I mean? She's like, yeah, I've played Danganronpa before. I know what's going down. Having seen such a huge explosion right in front of your eyes, is there anyone who is still thinks this is not real? Personally speaking, I've become more afraid of other things. How many of you have taken the bear's words seriously? That's what I mean. Yikes. Oh, here we go with a shot. Hearing those words, everyone in the gym couldn't help but turn to each other. I could read distinct emotions from the gazes pouring down from everyone in the gym. Hostility and vague fear. For those who have been cast into hell by someone like this, how should I act from now on? I ask myself questions that I cannot answer on my own. This is how my whole school, new school life began. Chat, are you J or are you S? <laughs> Can you guys let me know? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Okay, I think I might need to load uh, Zephy's file now. Let me see if I can recognize this or not. Beow. Okay, actually, maybe not. We're still in the prologue. Okay, cool. Uh, after the entrance ceremony, I locked myself in my private room. The idea of going to a place where no one is, where no one can see me, came up first. Even if there are students with incredible titles of ultimates, a normal person like me can't handle the situation. It's only normal. It's only natural. I've done nothing wrong! Oh, plot twist for you. There's a part two to the prologue. Yeah, I was like, that was a really short prologue. I guess, like... I guess some of them have been like two hours before, but still. Yeah, you heard it right! If you want to get out of the school, kill someone! Stabbing, beating, crushing, struggling, dropping, electrocuting, exploding! If you could explode, then that would be so cool! And anyway, well, on this space, it would be impossible to kill by dropping someone. Damn it, dropping someone was my idea! God, why would he rule that out so quickly? I wanted to I wanted to do a Nekamaru murder. What should I do from now on? The moment I thought about it. Yay, someone ringing my doorbell. Is it you, Ego? Maybe the others are calling for me. Should I open it? But what if? What if? I approach the door and open it with full vigilance. Kind of feel like it might be Justin, actually. Oh. Oh, yeah. This girl's kind of been like the leader, too, so far. Were you scared? Before even exchanging a few words with each other, you took your handbook and ran away <laughs> for, to your private room. You just fucking ran off after we all started staring at each other suspiciously. You... You're the criminal! Back off! Back off, bitch! I got a blush and I'm not afraid to use it! What the hell do you think that's gonna do to me, brother? I have committed a crime, but I also have a name. Call me Misaki. 
Why are you here? You, are you gonna kill me? You just do it already. Yeah. The, the fact that I came here is something 13 people know. Also, those 13 people have gathered in the diner. She has a good leader since, yeah, literally somebody who's busted out of jail before. I'm not here to kill you, dumbass. I won't, so don't worry. Everyone's gathered. Yeah, we were just gonna do some research and have a meeting while we're stuck here. And I came to the conclusion of calling you since you were missing from the search. Everybody is so mean to her. We don't even know what she did yet. <laughs> I thought it'd be better to leave you alone, but my Mayu said that the meeting was meant to be meaningful only when everyone is there, so it would be better to bring you and check it out. So I came to call you. <laughs> she, I kind of thought I should leave your emo ass in your room because you're going to bring down the whole, you know, atmosphere, but, you know, Mayu wanted you to be here. Well, unless you think 14 people are rushing to kill you, do you? Maybe they are. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Make up your mind quickly. You going or not, bitch? You expect me to go outside? And the guy is so paranoid. In this situation? You are terrified, but if you let that continue, it will be like playing on that bear's tricks. Don't you know? He's triggering our fears. He's trying to get us caught in this. He is emo. Then how can I not be afraid after hearing that? You just don't get me, Misaki. Oh my god. You've had a... You've had a crim... Oh my... He is so mean to her. You've had a criminal record. And you've been in prison. So you already have seen dangerous sights in front of you. But I'm... I'm just a normal boy. In prison? Murder? I only have experience in something like that in games and movies. Alright, first just calm the hell down. It seems like I pushed my opinion too hard. So I'll respect your decision. Good God. But know this. We're going to do our best to give that bear a shot. In order to escape from this school. Aren't you upset? I was excited about getting into the best school in the world. But suddenly a strange looking teddy bear is asking us to kill each other? I mean, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off more than a hornet's nest in spring. <laughs> I don't even know if that means anything. Do you really want to be locked up in this narrow school in a small room without knowing why? It would be true that it is dangerous, so I won't force you, but... Please, give us strength. Masako's attitude seemed quite desperate. Reading her thoughts about me and her words, I made up my mind. Fine. Fine, I'll go, but I won't like it. <laughs> Good, that's how we'll get out. Thank you so much for your courage. For that, make sure to check the rules first. The, the rules? The bear said it was written in electronic student handbook. You can't just die because of doing something stupid. Okay, I know you You would definitely be one of the people who would die from doing something stupid. Uh, Hiroto Kenjo arc? He do, be, he do be a little bit on his Kenjo arc. But you're a dirty criminal. You must be here to kill me. Thank you, Super Simputer. Blushing, are you, are, are you gonna kill me? Oh no, don't kill me. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Your uh, message matches your uh, username pretty well. Take my handbook out of my pocket and turn it on. Hiruto. Seeing that it worked without any problems, I immediately selected rules from the menu. Soon shall live a communal life in the school. No deadline for this communal living. From 10 to 7 is designated nighttime. During the nighttime, the diner will remain off limits. Violence against Monokuma, the headmaster, is prohibited. It's forbidden to deliberately break objects. I feel like it'll probably be the same, but we can read through it. We can read through it just in case. If a murder occurs in the academy, a class trial is held where all the students must participate. If the correct black end is pointed out in the class trial, only the black end who committed the murder will be punished. If the students fail to point out the black end, then the spotless shall face punishment. If the black end wins the class trial, though, we'll be able to leave the academy. Monokuma will never be... <laughs> yeah, fucking right. I don't know. <laughs> Especially with how much this is uh, taken after dying in Rapa 1. If three or more people find a body, the body discovery announcement will trigger... You're free to discuss three or more. Yes, it's normal. You're free to investigate Hope's Peak Academy. There are no special restrictions for this behavior. Rules may increase or decrease in the future. Does it say anything about new areas unlocking? I don't know if it said anything about that. After reading the school rules, while conscious of Misaki's gaze, I raised my head from the screen. Did you read it all? Is there anything you don't understand? I can explain it to you slowly if you need. You think I am. <laughs> that stupid YouTuber guy. Is there anything that makes is there anything that makes sense in this situation? Haven't said that I have nothing. I'm still really confused too. Anyways, let's go. The others are waiting. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I followed Misaki and left the room. 
Oh man, this is fun so far. I like the cast so far too. They seem uh, really enjoyable. <laughs> when it comes to Danganronpa, all my messages match my username TBH. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Not you guys talking about Cringo in chat. Oh, you're here. You brought him. Seeing him run away, I thought he was ready to lock himself in his room forever. Oh, you do care about me, Mew. Oh. Well, I did a good job convincing him. It seems like she's more trusting of Misaki now. I guess, like, beggars can't be chooser kind of thing. <laughs> Thank God I was worried because he looked really anxious. He really freaked us all out when he just ran out of the room screaming, Y'all can't kill me! Y'all can't kill me! Get away from me, you murderers! <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't know what came over me. So are we going to start the discussion now? Um, yeah, so where do we start talking? Yeah. And wait, wait, I gotta focus on my camera, guys. This is gonna give me so many fucking views. Are you th are you thinking about filming a video on this situation? Ugh. Um, I don't necessarily film it with the intention of uploading it on YouTube. I'll upload it on Twitch, but she doesn't have to know that. It's a series of unusual situations. <laughs> oh no, I dropped my mouse. And I'm still doing it in his voice. What's the name again? Uh, Shoji. I can't wanna call him like Shinto or something. Shoji Shinano. A series of unusual situations, so I want to make a record of it. This is for history's sake. And if people happen to watch it and give me money, then you know, that's just that's just how it is. That's just what happens. If that's the case, I'll say it again. Mosaic my face. Is mosaic like a filter? Please put one of those pretty uh, TikTok filters over my face. Erica, isn't that Ulysses? You're reading an original. That's amazing. Oh. oh yeah. Have you read it? Oh, oh, you guys gonna have a little ship going on? I read it, but my humble brain couldn't understand- <laughs> Couldn't understand it. Also, I do not have eyes, so that makes it a little hard to read things. I seem to be better suited for math and literature, after all. Ma. Then I have nothing- <laughs> Then fuck off. Eh? Huh? Ignored. I hate this! Sigh, so are their ultimates. They're so dazzling that- I dare not even look up! Oh my god, I feel like this guy's gonna be a murderer just because he's so, like... I don't know, he, like, reminds me so much of, like, like, like you know, like, one of those Mekon characters who's, like, probably got through a bunch of trauma, and you feel like they're just harboring some, like, insane rage underneath. I'm very disappointed. Is this the hope carrying the world? God, these people suck! Yeah. Now, now, let's stop the chatter until here. Let's get back to the meeting. Then, where should we start talking again? First of all, I think we should form groups and talk about the things we investigated. Certainly, would be better to start with the report first. Rantari, you checked the windows and doors with Rion and Mayu. How was it? We went around the hallways and classrooms and checked all the windows. I wondered if there was something loosely fixed, so I researched it randomly, but there was nothing. I tried to turn them around and ended up hurting my hand. I got a boo-boo! Oh, there will be more bandages to put on! Oh, yeah, he does have a bunch of scratches on his hands. He's definitely doing a lot of, I don't know, a lot of dangerous stuff to get money. Especially, yeah, he said he took, like, a bunch of medicine for a clinical trial. It's like, oh, my lord. I also inspected the massive door in the entrance, and it seems more fitting to think of it as a heavy mechanism rather than a door. It didn't even budge. Anyway, since it's a mechanical device, Miss Ego took a closer look. Ma Leaving aside the unfamiliar structure, if I try to disassemble it even a little, I'll be executed with vandalism and all, probably. There's nothing I can do. It's a real pity. I thought that the ultimate engineer might know about it. Then, then next, Kana, you've been around the school's faculties, haven't you? Then next, Kana, you've been around the school's faculties, haven't you? Um, yeah, Rika, Satoshi, and I check the school's faculties. Oh, you are hanging out with some girls, at least. Why do you hate, uh... Our girl. By the way, what did I- <laughs> What did I see again? You can tell me, right, girl? You don't remember it? No, I remember. We once did. <sighs> Starting with the gym, where we had the entrance ceremony. There were faculties that could definitely be from a school, such as the classrooms and the infirmary. However, faculties such as the library, science room, and faculty office were nowhere to be seen. Instead, I could only check the stairs. Uh, that was totally what I was about to say. <laughs> no, you weren't. Don't lie. Are you talking about the stairs in the space that was blocked by that shutter? Okay, so it's gonna unlock every chapter. I just didn't think it mentioned that in the rules. I thought it might have, you know, mentioned that normally. Yeah, it was the stairs going upstairs. They say that Hoopsby Academy was up to five floors. 
So it seems like they confined us to living only on the first floor. Uh. That's right. Shoji, Yori, and I checked the private rooms. Overall, there are basic facilities for accommodation, such as bed, tables, and bathrooms. Apparently, there is only one monitor that Monokuma uses to broadcast. There were no computers, of course. It's too harsh of an environment for modern people. The faculty seemed okay overall, but the interior is a little rough. As for the interior, I totally agree. I don't know if I can sleep comfortably in a place like this. Well, I've done a lot of work. It won't matter where I sleep. <laughs> I know how to deal with this stuff. I guess it's an uncomfortable environment for you. <laughs> You're gonna get dark circles all over your face. I'm just built different, I guess. We'll have a private discussion later. This conversation is not over yet. Also, the walls appear to be soundproofed. I experimented with Hiyori, but no matter how loud I sounded, it didn't seem to reach the next room. Okay, interesting. Also, I love that they have like some beef uh, already. Ukyo, Sara, Sheena. I'm trying to remember everybody's name too. Kuzi, you noticed too. I want you to call me Mizaki, please. Next, then the next one, please stop calling me garbage. Um, um, <laughs> we've done jack shit. Um, did you all act alone? Um, I checked the diner where we are now. Then I ran into a Tommy who came later. Oh, yeah, I did. Did you, do you see the door over there? It must be a grocery store. It was full of fresh products and had a great variety. Um, they said that there was an unlimited supply of groceries. Where did you learn that? I heard it directly from the bear. That name was Monokuma? While we were investigating the food, he suddenly appeared and told us. He just pops out of nowhere. He just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah, he kind of does that. <laughs> That's kind of his thing. I thought there might be a small ad break. Oh my god, you got an Obey Me ad? That's pretty slay. <laughs> Didn't he suddenly appear and disappear during the entrance ceremony? It must be something like that. Got hidden trapdoors all over the school! I guess that's true. Then the rest. I examined the gym. Where had the where we had the entrance ceremony? Why were you there? Uncle. It's where the bear first appeared, so I wonder if there was something we didn't know about it. That's actually smart, kinda see where he came up from and stuff. But I found nothing at all. That's all. Really? Wow. So great. Wow. What would we do without you, girl? Just keep reading your oh, stupid yeah. book. You didn't find anything in particular either, bitch. Yeah, I, <laughs> I kind of like how uh, Jumanji, she's kind of she's kind of feisty, you know what I mean? Who says I didn't check this first? Um, excuse you. Saying that, Ego took out a piece, piece of paper from her jacket pocket. Excuse you. I did find something. I found this on a table in Classroom 1A. It's a guidebook for Hope's Peak Academy. When referring to the floor plan drawn, the drawing of the building and the structure of this place matched perfectly. It could be a fake map, though. You know what I mean? I'm never trusting that we're in Hope's Peak Academy ever again. Oh, thank you, David. My wife finished a 36-week bodybuilding program yesterday. It's a girl. She's 8 pounds and 2 ounces. Wait a second. Oh, ah, I get. <laughs> Took me a second, but I got it. <laughs> Thanks, Dave, for the donation. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Then class well, A one then. Yeah, I found it while I was with you. I thought there would be more people, so I didn't tell you. Didn't tell you to reveal later. I see. Did she find it? Did she find it while I wasn't looking? Sussy. So you're saying that this building is definitely Hope's Peak Academy? Just doesn't trust me enough, I guess. Yeah. That's right, it's not a completely new discovery, but it is not a bad result to solidify an uncertain suspicion into certainty? It's not, it's still not enough to call it certainty. If it's a public floor plan, it wouldn't be difficult to obtain or imitate. Miss Kazuki, that means, could someone have copied the floor plan and decorated the structure? I guess it wouldn't be difficult if it was just one floor of the building. Um, is there a reason to go to such lengths to lie about? This is Hope's Peak Academy? I don't know, man. Sometimes they just like to screw with us. Ma. I think I would be more persuasive if the stairs were open and we could go to the other floor. Hope's Peak Academy. It's said to be a five-story building, but I don't think they would have copied it that far. I guess they're kind of debunking that it's uh, not Hope's Peak. I guess it probably is. But you know, I just feel like you never know. I just feel like you never know. Because single story and double story are different issues. If they copied it from the second 
floor onwards. I think it would be a pretty difficult fight. No, I'm not. Fight? What do you mean? I mean, of course, the guy who came up with a ridiculous plan. You aren't going to live forever, right? We have to fight and get out. Huh? Uh, fighting? What should I do when that time comes? Uh, I'm useless, man! I've only been beaten by others for the rest of my life. I'm sure they'll go for my ankles. Oh, God, again! Uh, not my ankles! Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> Just ignore him. And secondly, I examined the surveillance cameras. I wanted to disassemble them. But when I asked the bear, he said it was subject to vandalism. I only checked their appearance. The biggest feature is that it has a machine gun. Just like Danganronpa 1. Machine gun! Oh, jeez. Yes, even if it was a machine gun, it seems like it was not an off-the-shelf product, but something that was developed homemade. I've never seen such a model before. Homemade. I like it. That almost makes her seem like sussy because she's an engineer like this person's obviously somebody who was able to do it in-house you're too sussy Mayu you're too sussy I asked the bear what it was for I guess like if it like she wouldn't there would be no point for her to reveal that if she was the one who made it but it's just like the more information I learn the more I'm like kind of side-eyeing her you know what I mean I asked the bear what it was for and he said it was used to punish students who violated school rules <laughs> oh my god punish you mean like execution so that okay. Well, if you think, if you do anything that goes against the school rules, even a little bit, while he's watching through the surveillance camera, BANG! It must be like that. Uh, um, that camera hanging up there with the machine gun. That's scary. Who would have thought that the machine gun would actually shoot at us? Crazy. I think it would be better to avoid being shot to <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's just the opinion of a humble southern country girl, but I do think, I do declare that maybe we shouldn't get shot to death. Maybe we should try to avoid doing that one there. Everyone, make sure to understand the rules. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't everybody think that? That would be for the best. Wait, come to think of it, why are you pretending to be the leader? I was wondering, I was like, <laughs> I thought Mayu was kind of like, uh, I don't know, like pretty cold to her at first, but now she's just following along with her. Pretend, and now I was the first proposed investigation, so the meeting naturally revolved around me. Oh, you think you're so cool? I could be the leader too. Do you have any complaints? So Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, Justin! Justin! Justin, are you trying to steal my heart? Are you trying? Are you trying to walk? Are you trying to stand where he stood? Stand where Kinjo stood? Absolutely criminal scum. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> Giving you the Kinjo voice was the best decision I ever fucking made. <laughs> Don't you think it's natural to suspect? Being a criminal is not a simple matter. What matters is, is what crime you can- Finally, we're asking! I was like, she probably did some, like, light- Something light. Some light vandalism, you know what I mean? So tell us, what's your crime? Oh, yikes. Here we go. And he goes to remark, the atmosphere sinking once. She's like, oh, you know, just making some weed brownies. And the baker girl's like, oh my god, me too! If you take it for granted, it's a natural fact. The elephant in the room, who caught the attention of the po of power, but tried to erase their presence with a scarlet tag called Ultimate Jailbreaker. Think she can cover it up. It was a matter of getting on the chopping block one day. I do kind of feel like, I don't know. Is that like a, well, I guess people in general are pretty like, um, what is it? Like, it's not standoffish, but like, kind of discriminates more towards somebody. If somebody has like a criminal record and you hear about it, I feel like, it's kind of like common sense for people to just like automatically judge them, you know what I mean? But I kind of wonder if it's more like severe in Japan. It's a matter of gaining, getting on the chopping block one day, because I feel like I heard that the conviction rate in Japan is like 100% or something. Stole from a gas station. Uh, you know, I stole a piece of gum from a gas station. You dirty fucking criminal scum. Justin just bust out. Oh, my, I'm going to vomit. I'm so, I'm so disgusted with your fucking actions. Sixteen gazes around the table, stared at her face, waiting for her mouth to move. That was way worse than I thought it was. She illegally downloaded Frozen. How dare you? How fucking dare you take money from Disney? You know how much they're struggling. How much they're struggling. How dare you rip off that mouse? Like, Justin, calm down. No, I won't calm down. How, how fucking dare she? That's the greatest movie ever made, and she thinks she can illegally download it. He just tries to kill her right then and there. 
16. Oh, wait, 16. I thought there was 15 people. I gotta look through the bios after this and double check. Cause I thought we were, I the chat said 15. I haven't counted yet. 16 gazes surrounding the table, stirred her face, waiting for her mouth to move. Okay, I'll stop memeing. And Misaki hung her chin and lowered her eyes as if avoiding them. Nanda. Dodging. Avoiding won't solve anything, criminal scum. Open mouth, what is your crime? If you promise, okay guys, if you promise you won't prejudge anything, I okay, I might have killed 10 babies, <laughs> but in my defense, they weren't looking at me right. You're saying that as if you're going to make a grandiose excuse. Let's fucking hear it. Oh, sigh. Masaki let out a heavy sigh, as pulled from, pulled from deep within her stomach, and then started talking. Since you seem to be the most curious, I'll tell you what my crimes are. Oh, Jesus Christ. My charges were manslaughter and arson. Well, it's better than murdering babies, I guess. But I guess the bar was, uh, in hell. As soon as the words were spoken, loud and small murmurs began to fill the diner a little bit. It was just a little bit of manslaughter. Yeehaw. That's just how we roll down. You just got, you guys don't get it, because... You guys don't get it because y'all don't live in the South. That's just what we do in Alabama. Hold on, everyone. I don't think we need to be upset like this already. Isn't it too soon when Misaki's explanation isn't over yet? Being admonished already, is it not a fact? I didn't mean it that way. Miss Kuzu, you just ended your speech in the past tense. Does it have any special meaning? I was just about to explain, okay? I accidentally murdered someone, then I burned their bodies, okay? Yeehaw! I was just about to explain the reason for using the past tense is simple. It's because the false accusation against me has... Oh <laughs> they think it was murder at first or something? Oh my god, the man behind the slaughter. <laughs> It's like, you know, I was really worried at first, but she said yeehaw, and now I kind of feel like she's clear. She's got so much southern charm. What? <laughs> to be precise, there was someone who was attacking me with a knife, and we got into a physical fight, and the other guy got stabbed. It was just a whole thing, you know. Just a little powwow. I could have been judged for self-defense, but in the end, it was considered a manslaughter, and I was fined 500,000 yen. In Japan, only a maximum fine of 500,000 yen is sentenced for manslaughter. Really? How much is that? Like a few thousand dollars? That seems kind of low. I don't know. I always thought that you would go to prison for a few years for manslaughter. Because that's pretty bad, I feel like. We didn't have that much money in our house, but I was sentenced to probation for being a first-time offender. And for trying to stab someone first. She's a minor, too, so... But then I was in prison for additional charges of arson. Yeah, where did those charges come from? That's crazy. That they just made up that shit. After that, <laughs> not gonna explain that at all. After that, I voluntarily escaped and collected evidence of my innocence. I worked for it and was cleared of my charges. Okay, so she was cleared of her charges. Of course, breaking out of prison is also a crime. So now I was in prison for the time of jailbreak. So I cleared my charges, but now I'm being charged in jail. I feel like they should just clear her all together if, uh, you know, she was already cleared of her charges. It's like, she was in the right jailbreaking. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so slay. <laughs> you are so cool. I think I'm in love. Are you persuading us to believe? It sounds ridiculous when you hear it, right? It wasn't fair on my part. It's a pity that there is no one who can testify. You guys really haven't seen my name in the newspaper? Everyone in the seats shook their heads. How am I, how am I supposed to do this? There is one way. Hey, Monokuma, come here. As soon as Ego finished speaking, the shape of the bear appeared in the air. Woo! Yeehaw! Ooh, excuse me. Thank you, Mimikyu lover, Kiru, Misaki, Kazu, ultimate jailbreaker. Sing your sins. <laughs> that's what I'll, that's how I'll forgive her. She just needs to do an awesome music video like the Milgram people. <laughs> Thank you for the dono. Yeah, Monokuma, the teacher who comes running when you call. Oh, it appeared. You be quiet. Monokuma, have you heard of us until now? Is it true or not? Testify. I've heard everything, but why should I testify? I'm not a student. Well, judging by the school rules here, you seem to want the fairest killing game. But if the starting points of mutual trust are different, wouldn't it be difficult to expect a fair development? 
You want a fair killing game? I certainly hope for that as well. Oh, it's almost like you're the mastermind. It's kind of crazy how our opinion is just a line, girl. Me and you are on the same wavelength. Shut up. X and A on the, on the mastermind A, Monokuma. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to expose you there. But is it really what you're trying to say? I think it'd be used as the cornerstone of the game for the shadows of suspicion to begin with Miss Kuzu. Miss Garbage. Oh, still, this is a real obvious plot twist. One vicious criminal among 14 good students. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess it was just a typo before. The picture drawn afterwards is not very interesting. That or, uh, our guy is not very good at counting. What's the name? Her Haruto? Haruto or Hirotu? Haruto, I think. Hi. So I'll support Miss Kuzu's testimony. No, should I call her Miss Masaki as she wishes? No, I like calling her garbage. Miss Masaki's words are true. It is all true that she has been framed and that it... And then in prison, she's only paying for the crime she escaped from. That's kind of crap. The atmosphere seemed to have changed a little at that. The truth was revealed. Oh, yeah. It's a reliable information. There's no credibility in the words of a rude person like you who has respect for life. Such sad words. I always tell the truth about murder and killing games. I guess good call on the bloodstain of Masaki's jacket thing then. Wait, it... Now that I think about it, was that the jacket she wore when she did the manslaughter? <laughs> She's like, I didn't do it and I regret it, but I kept the jacket from that night. Yeehaw, as a keepsake. Ain't nothing weird about that. There's absolutely no reason for me to defend one student. Well, how about showing a news article? It's well kept in the Mono Archive, the world's most powerful information gatherer. Let me see now. All right, fine, then hold on. Ba -na -na -na. After Monokuma finished talking, he disappeared again with his weird sounds. Huro, Huro, Huruto, Huruto. So trying to make sure. Oh, I've been to the Mono Archive. Got a few things for the newspaper article. Would you like to take a look at it since you want to see it? Monokuma appeared and held several scraps of new pa newspaper in his paws. Ah, uh, his little paws. Hey, it's far away, so the camera won't take it. Um, can you can you show up a little closer? Can you give me a better camera too? This is not focusing. Um, my fans expect 1080p, 60 frames per second, but this one only does 720. So, um, could you, could you like fix that for me, please? Murder case that took place a few weeks ago at the Kanaka Prefectural Mori Galco High School was ruled as a manslaughter. Okay. The court upheld a fine of 500,000 yen and a one-year suspended sentence for Misaki Kuzu, who was charged with violating the act on, on manslaughter. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the narration. There's one more. The real culprit was Mori Galco High School arson incident last year was arrested. On the other hand, the court overturned the previous judgment and acquitted Misaki Kuzu. Oh, she acquitted for the arson too? Who was sentenced as a previous criminal in the case and found not guilty. I know Justin, my boy, is going to be like, you're still, a <laughs> you're still a filthy fucking criminal. Citing insufficient evidence that she had committed the crime. It's like, actually, Monokuma, Daddy, I'm gonna need 4K. Um, I need 4K quality, okay? My fans deserve the best. Isn't that right, chat? He's like, oh yeah, there's no chat. On the same day, the police arrested a group of five people, including the real culprit, A, and secured confessions, such as attempting to frame. What if one of the real, what if the real culprit was one of the people here? It's not actually saying who the real culprit is, so I'm like, I feel like that might be important. <laughs> I've never read an article like that, but it seems plausible. Then you believe me. Wouldn't it be better if you could explain the detailed backgrounds? To be honest, there's so many holes in the story you told us that it's hard to understand. Is that so? I do have a complicated background. First, I have to tell you about my past. The school I went to was very poor quality. It was also called a thug training center because the only place to enter the grad after graduating was becoming a gangster. I still have attachments to the school, so I tried to change it somehow from the inside. Yeehaw. However, one day a classmate brought a hedgehog, a hedgehog knife. <laughs> it's like, one well, classmate brought a hedgehog. He was vicious, rabid, and he just started biting folks, man. That was fucked up. And he tried to stab me. In the middle of a physical fight, I cut off his arm and, oh my god, <laughs> cut off his arm. Jesus. That seems like a lot. Cut off his arm and. <laughs> <laughs> Switch him. I cut off his arm. Same time that I got stuck in his cardio. I think he would have fucking died from just you cutting off his arm. I think that was enough, girl. I think he was gonna bleed out. But you know, he accidentally just got it stuck in his cardio artery. Yeehaw. The ambulance was late and he passed away. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know, girl. I was kind of defending you for a little bit, but cutting off somebody's entire arm, that's a lot. That's, like, unless, like, the original translation was, like, stabbed in the arm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But, like, cutting off, that's, like, you gotta, you gotta be, like, sawing for, you gotta go through the bone. <laughs> like, you got a lot to do. You got a lot to do. Ambulance was late and he passed away. He already had a gang he led on campus. That bitch got what he deserved. <laughs> but a few who had a grudge against me teamed up to set the school on fire and framed me. I was able to find the evidence after I escaped, y'all. One of the gang members got scared and confessed first, so I was lucky. <laughs> Hashtag just girly things. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have served a life sentence. And that would have been so lame. I think it meant stabbed in the arm. <laughs> surely, surely it means stabbed in the arm. <laughs> That was a bit more than 28 stab wounds. I was like, how the fuck are they gonna do her as innocent after she fucking, like, saw it off the arm? Because I can get, you know, like, self-defense, but, like, that just seems cruel. Story ends there. How about it? There was no response, even after the words were spoken. It probably just meant that she stabbed him, though. But just the idea of her, like, just fucking sawing it off. And then, and then like, the eye twitch, too, of being like... See, it was just a little oopsie. Just a little oopsie, y'all. There was no response, even after the words were spoken. Gangsters, knives, false accusations. I must have grown tired of stories that have no sense of reality. <laughs> Boring. Oh my god, I literally, literally fell asleep during that story. How does the credibility of the story plummet as the story gets bigger? I thought I was listening to some violent school scenario. It's not a story that makes no sense. It is a bit dramatic, but could it be that it's all true? Yeah, it's the truth without an inch of error, or even the tiniest bit of lies, since everyone still has doubts. Easy. Fine, so let's continue the story, assuming it's true. I don't think I need more clippings for this article, Bear. You hold this and get out, you're getting in the way. Uh, how dare you? Bear, I have a name! I did everything you asked me to, but I'm being treated like this! You're treating me like a comfortable shut-in! I'm not some kind of Dora. Uh oh, you can't say that, Monokuma. Doraemon. Oh wait, my hair. Uh oh no, I am. I'm just like him. Um, why are you feeling lonely? I don't know. Fine, I'll leave you alone. Jeez, I'm not lonely, Baka. Back to the point. I do like uh, Mayu. She is a girl boss so far. Well, could. Masako's words are without <laughs> are without credibility. I admit. So wait, he's saying they're not credible. It's easier to believe than you think. My background is also similar to hers. Do not believe that reason does not exist. So wait, I can't tell sometimes with your uh, language barrier, dude, if you're agreeing or not. I'll refrain from indiscriminate suspicion. Okay, so you're not gonna kinjo out on us, but I will not believe it either. Wait, okay, so, so you are. <laughs> I'm like, wait, so you are. It's gonna say neutral, neutral king. I will keep it that way for you. Therefore, I will not accompany you. Choose to act alone. Huh? Are you sure it would be dangerous to act alone? No need to worry about me. Let it be about yourself instead. After Justin said that, he got up from his seat. Okay, I was like, it seems like he was saying he was being neutral, but then he's like, but also I will not work with you, criminal song. Fuck off. <laughs> bye bye Thank you. Can't think. Sleep deprived. Oh, Lord. What is that icon? <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Kenjo cult, though. Appreciate ya. Where are you going? <laughs> Private room. Take a rest. At this point, I also have to say sorry. If you're going to leave the group, I'm out. Oh, damn, girl. What's wrong with everyone? The most important thing in this situation is bonding. Just ignore just ignore the blood stain on my jacket from when I sawed off that motherfucker's arm. He deserved it. You should have been there. Don't you know that? No, I know. The only flaw is that the leader's seat has someone who has been to prison. I just don't like sitting here with an ex-convict. I mean, she did get cleared of it. As long as it was a stab that I feel like I would be willing to, like, work with her and forgive her. She does have the most experience breaking out of a building, so, you know, why not? There is symbolism and responsibility that you have, that you will have as the head of a group. It's not something that a person who has stabbed someone with a knife can bear. This is not something I have against you. Do you understand? Yeah. It kind of seems like you do have something against me. You're right. I was like Mayu and uh, <laughs> Justin gonna form their own little uh, Kenjo cult. That's a person who has never missed the position of class president or class rep since I was young. I naturally tried to lead the group again this time, but things have changed so much since then. Guys, what would you like me to do? A site that alienates me and goes with everyone, 
And another side that puts me as a leader and creates a few breakaways. I'll leave the choice to you guys. Even if we suddenly hear a statement. I don't think we can make a wise choice. It's as you say, we've only known each other for a few hours. And we barely know each other yet. At the very least, I don't even know if Masaki's sons are true or not. Um, but I think I know one thing. Masaki's leadership was certainly comfortable. It was a very short moment. The results were unsatisfactory, but the process itself was stable. It was aight. It was aight. So, in the current situation, I want to support Misaki, even with the criminal tag attached. Aw, oh, look, see Shoji, best boy, wholesome king. For now, they were. For now, they've been reliable, at least from what we've checked. Right, so that's your opinion. Well, maybe this is because Shoji puts too much faith in Misaki. Now I need to think a little more critical. <laughs> Shoji is a dumbass, so I don't know if we should be relating. We should be relying on him too much. I'm not that much of an advocate for Miss Kuzu. However, I don't think there is any reason to stop Miss Kuzu at this time. A group needs a good leader, so then we only recruited the only volunteer, and it, she was the only one who volunteered. Please understand that I do not mean that I will uncon unconditionally trust Miss Kuzu and reject Mr. Blade and Miss Ego, Mr. Blade. If Kuzu becomes the unreliable by any means, it's okay if we reject Miss Kuzu's leadership. Okay, it kind of does seem like people want to split up a little bit. Justin, uh, Mayu want to make, yeah, their own little Kinjo cult. I don't know if anybody else is going to join them, though. It seems like everybody else is chill enough to want to follow uh, Kuzu. Of course, if Miss Kuzu lied or behaved in an unreliable manner, she should be immediately imprisoned somewhere or her rights to be taken away. In that case, I will. <laughs> oh my god. In that case, I will be the jail, the jail cell guard or whatever, and make it possible if I need to. I'm very swole, as you can see. Rentaro, isn't that what you're saying? Isn't what you're saying a bit too scary? Ah, <laughs> uh, does that sound like it? It's just my own opinion for my safety and your safety. Do you think that humans who intentionally take the lives of others need to be treated like. Okay, never mind. I thought you were chill, Rentaro. Treated like normal people? I mean, like. If she tries to kill somebody, then sure, like, maybe lock her up. But, like, I can't really tell if he's, like, saying, like, oh, if she tries to kill somebody or if she just, like, you know, is a little sus. Oh, what the fuck? To put it all together, there's no room for doubt. So you're accepting that Kuzu is going to be the leader. I'll wait and see if she's really trustworthy. You'll be the one who has to bend over first. Um, let me say it again. Hi, hi. I know what you're trying to say. I'm not trying to treat you as an enemy. I wouldn't do such a thing in this environment, okay? It just means I'm going to be a step away. After those words, Ego folded her arms and leaned back on the chair, closing her mouth. Mm. Are there any other opinions? If not, the leader issue is over. We will believe in you, Misaki. Therefore, don't let our beliefs be wrong. Can you do that? <laughs> now I'm kind of intimidated. <laughs> of course, I'll prove that your choice was right. Thank you, everyone. Kind of wonder if she's going to die first, honestly, since, um... She's like the leader, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of times it is the leader who dies first. Also, I just noticed she has like a tan line here too. That's kind of interesting. Farmer's tan. After speaking, Misaki spread her arms and smiled. Then how about everyone go back to our private rooms for now? There was a lot of confusion and it would be physically tiring. Um, yeah, so can I sleep? Uh, <laughs> I'll sleep here, it's okay. She's gonna be an easy target. Kana, you should go to your room first and then sleep. Yeah. All right, so we're just spanning for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, I love you. I love you, Shoji. That was his name, right? Shoji? <laughs> I love you so much, guy whose name I can't even remember. In a crowded atmosphere, the meeting was dissolved. Did Haruto have a hoge and a hoge? Another thing about it? I was kind of thinking about that earlier. I feel like I usually pay attention to that at the very beginning, but I didn't this time. All right, first calm down. It seems like I pushed my opinion too hard. So I respect your decision, but I know this. We're going to do our best to give that bear a shot in order to escape from this school. I kind of wonder if Hiro Hiruto will actually join the Kenjo cult, because he seems to be probably the most judgmental of her besides uh, the other students, you know what I mean? He's definitely not like a goody two-shoe so far, I feel like. He just seems very uh, paranoid and, you know, untrusting. Aren't you upset? I was excited about getting into the best school in the world. Suddenly, a strange-looking teddy bear is asking us to kill each other. I was like, yeehaw, this is just like my gangster school. Do you really want to be locked up in this narrow school in a small room without knowing why? Might be true that it's dangerous, so I won't force you, but please, give us strength. 
Oh, he doesn't. Interesting. On the side of his head? That that doesn't seem right. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it counts. Oh, it's like, I didn't really think I've noticed anybody having an Ahoge, now that I think about it. What requirements should a good leader have? Lying in bed while thinking about this. I then fell asleep. Speepy time. Enjoy it while you can, dude. Because you will never rest once I start controlling you. Hello, you guys! It's morning! 7 a.m. Wake up! Wakey, wakey! Now, let's have a lively day today! Before that, I have an announcement! Everyone listening to this broadcast, please gather at the gym immediately! Are we getting our motive already? During the prologue? I need to wash up. I'm kind of wondering, is like, something gonna kill during the prologue? I've never seen a prologue with a second half like this before. It's kind of making me, uh... <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of making me, uh... A little nervous. Just a little bit. I took a shower and got ready to go outside. After washing up, I immediately pulled the doorknob of my room and beyond there. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, it's just her. Why are you so obsessed with me, Misaki? <laughs> hey, Haruto! Misako, what are you. Why is there creepy music? What the fuck? Oh, what you doing in front? <laughs> oh, yeehaw! I'm just about to murder your ass! <laughs> I was like, this is kind of scaring me! What are you doing in front of my room? Well, I was wondering what's going on because the bear made an announcement. Even though you didn't come. I don't know, this bitch is crazy! <laughs> I was like, I don't trust her after the eye twitch. Why do we get this creepy ass music? <laughs> Look at looking at you, it seems like I was worried over nothing. And for, fortunately, let's go to the gym quickly together. Just us two. What the f what's going on? I'm not sure either. When we get there, we'll find out, okay? Get the fuck away from me! I don't trust you, girl! Then I was led by Masako's hand and moved to the gym. Okay. Creepy music was a false alarm. <laughs> I was like, I'm actually so scared right now. <laughs> oh, oh, here they are. Oh, here they are. You're here. Are you safe? Yeah, nothing happened yet. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what I've seen on the cornfield. What I've done to survive. Um, what's going on? How important is it to tell someone to come during this early morning? You sure have a short temper? I'll tell you soon. The reason I called you here is because of an announcement! As soon as I introduce- Oh! What the fuck? The Lightcomber! Oh, his name is Mitsuhiro Higa! No! Latecomer? Until now, an existent that had not been mentioned, let alone expected, came up on the stage. Ben nah. After a small conflict, the piece of 15 people was shattered in one day. This is sus. Would it be him who was talking in the beginning? The Latecomer person? The students have to face change before they have time to calm down. As if to foreshadow this, the large gym was quickly filled with whispers. Uh -huh. Lightcomer, what do you mean? Didn't the academy have 15 freshmen? Uh -huh. I don't know why you thought that. I have never been specific about the number of people. Oh! It's like, it wouldn't be interesting. This guy is so sussy, this person. If there's a 16th student, I mean, like... I don't know, I'm gonna be just automatically assuming that they're like the master, but like, why did you show up late, dude? Well then, let me introduce them right away! Oh, he hasn't said a gender yet either. A tardy student from the school who appeared wandering around while you introduced each other and spent the day together. He was wandering around the school aimlessly. <laughs> just like, was wandering around the school and just happened to not bump into us. I had to go find him and lead him to the gym. He is a bigger idiot than Shoujo! Nozomi Miyuki, please greet him with an applause! No... Nozomi Miyuki. Before the students could react, it had begun. The fuck? Oh. Oh, what the hell? What's that angle? Uh. <laughs> it's like, you gonna appear, bro? No, 
Nozumi Miyuki. What's this little icon, too? Looking back on my memories. <laughs> my name is Nozumi Miyuki. However, I don't recall anything. Was he created in a lab? <laughs> like, why is he opening his eyes so slowly? Oh, wait, that's the, uh, is he's the art in the, uh, prologue entrance, too? Interesting! Okay, is that the end of the prologue? Maybe we play a little bit more. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Oh, chapter zero. Okay, this is even chapter one yet, then. So we're good. I gotta play chapter zero. <laughs> I was like, yeah, are we pro tag switching? I can't totally tell. I was like, with the eye-opening thing, it kind of made me wonder. It's dazzling. The optic nerve is forced into the light, and my hands and feet are shaken by an irritating sensation that seems to tingle my brain. The fuck? I feel like a scientist or something? Where I stand? Unless we switch between these two or something. A trip down memory lane, and my name is Nozumi Miyuki. I'm a high school student. I'm standing at Hope Speak Academy, a specialty school. It's, uh, oh, is this chapter one? There is a one next, oh. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, I'll still play a little bit more, though. I'll still play a little bit more. Just because I, I, I'm, like, I'm not gonna end on that cliffhanger, are you kidding me? But I need to load, um, what should we call it, uh, Zeph save. So let me do that really quickly. Remember they said that there is like uh, some technical issues you can run into otherwise. Okay, yeah, which file? One. Okay, cool. Now, like, either two uh, pro tags or, um, I don't know, we're all of a sudden just uh, this guy now. Oh, the one's purple. Uh, that's why I didn't see it. Thanks for school. Talented school, high school, ultimate students, and... That'd be kind of cool. It'd be nice to play as somebody who's not the lucky student. For once. <laughs> for freaking once. Oh, there's... Okay, there's the one. I missed it. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. My mind is going blank. Oh, ultimate question mark. I absentmindedly put my hand to my forehead, abusing my malfunctioning brain. So has this guy been like experimented on or something? With the light blocked by my hand, some things were more visible than the first time. Or maybe he's a robot. He's built by uh, Mayu. <laughs> Since she's the ultimate engineer and Bill Monokuma, allegedly, in my brain. First of all, I was standing in a school gymnasium, specifically the podium at the front. I don't have voice to give you because I already gave the normal dude voice to the other guy. The windows, I guess let's just give the other guy the emo voice. The windows were all boarded up, so it was reasonable to assume that the only light source causing the shine was from the ceiling. And, huh. Is this really a pro tag switch? So soon. So that mean Haruto is going to die? <laughs> My gaze stopped on 15 pairs of eyes and ears focused on me. Oh, they're going to hate this, dude. As if I were the centerpiece of an academic assembly. Because all these, all these people are so judgmental, dude. Besides, uh, what is bullhead? <laughs> bullhead boy, coconut head boy. <laughs> Who are these people? Chapter one, condemned inside the sand castle. Daily life. Okay. Um, um, um. 15 pairs. Oh, okay, yeah, we're literally playing as him now. What the hell? Huh. Interesting. I wonder how we pro tag switched. I'm like, there's gotta be some meaning. Some reason, right? I'm like, what if this guy was a clone based off of the lucky student? Ooh, that does seem like some Hope Speak Academy shit. They're like, what if we create a human? Can we artificially create luck? Uh, that's kind of what they did anyways with, like, uh, Izuru, right? So maybe it's some kind of shit like that. They tried to make a clone based off the lucky student to see how the luck would transfer. I guess we'll see if this guy even has a talent, because he has, like, a little icon next to him. We'll see, we'll see. Huh, interesting, though. Definitely, uh, definitely a twist. Thank you, Wally. This fan game, uh, fan game has been really nice so far. Yeah, it's been really enjoyable. I've been, uh, liking it a lot. 
15 pairs of eyes were looking this way, but none of them seemed willing to start a conversation. What is this, fear, wariness, or displeasure? Either way, it's clear that my existence wasn't pleasant to these 15 people. I, I think this guy for sure was at the beginning of the prologue, being all sussy and talking, right? Is he the one who's supposed to infiltrate the academy, you know what I mean? I guess I don't know who he's talking to. He could have been talking to Haruto. Maybe Haruto got his memories taken to. Or actually, okay, wait, 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 actually. What it probably is, was Nozumi was like the person who was gonna infiltrate the academy at the beginning of the prologue. And the person who was talking to him was probably like the mastermind, right? Right? Either way, it's clear that my existence wasn't pleasant to these 15 people. Shouldn't I have, have the option to talk to them first? But in such a rigid atmosphere, I feel like no matter what I did, it would be met with resistance. Uh, what to do? Unfortunately or fortunately, I wasn't the one of the first to bring up the topic. What? I brought in a tardy student and this is your reaction? Are you gonna be like this all day? But look at him, he's so cute! Surely you're not trying to beat Miyuki-kun to the punch by getting to know each other a day earlier! You guys better not bully him! Miyuki-kun is technically a student at this academy and is on equal footing with you! Uh, technically, bullying is not something I can ignore as a headmaster! The last words were meant to be a nudge, but none of the students- <laughs> They all still hate me! Well, we're still silent even after this. I did kind of like playing as Haruto, Haruto just because like, uh, I don't know, he did seem like <laughs> like a weird dude, honestly. <laughs> a different type of pro tag to play as. Because he just was kind of like an asshole. I feel like just a, not like a huge, but just like a little bit. Just kind of judgmental and like overly paranoid. He honestly kind of seemed like the type to die first. Like just the fact that they were like, you ran out of the classroom like pissing, or you ran out of the gym pissing yourself after Monokuma said we had to kill each other. <laughs> we were kind of worried about you, Ruto, buddy. Well, they're still silent even after this. Our kids these days are really so awkward with their classmates. I get it. You guys, is it too awkward because the teacher is holding on to you? On like this! Or this could also be like, what if we're switching pro tags right now? Just to show that like, we could switch pro tags at any time, you know what I mean? Like anybody could die. That'd be kind of an interesting idea for a dog and Rampa game. Like you just keep switching pro tags like, throughout the game and getting like different perspectives. So then it's like nobody's safe, not even like the character you're controlling. Probably not, but just an interesting idea. You want to talk without being noticed, but you can't read the mood, and the teacher keeps interrupting you. This, Mr. Monokuma, is a true teacher who cares about his students. I'm going to leave you to your own devices and talk among yourselves. No bullying, but just a little bit, <laughs> as long as it's funny. With those words, the strange teddy bear painted white on the left and black on the right disappeared. As I wondered how it had ha uh, disappeared, I heard a sound coming to my ears, like your V3 wheel, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it would be fun to do that, honestly. That wheel was crazy. The voice of the person as I set foot in this place. Hey, did we, did he say Miyuki? Before I had a chance to prepare, my name was called. I didn't know what to say, so I just nodded and the other person seemed to relax. Is she, uh, she Renomi? Yes. Okay, we can call you Miyuki, right? My name is, my name is Misaki Kuzu, but you can call me Misaki. First, I have a lot of questions for you. I don't think we can do this standing up here, so let's move. She's so nice. We got a place for that. You well, actually, I just said she's so nice. After like ten minutes ago, I was like, she's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> she's crazy. This bitch is insane. <laughs> and now I'm like, she's so sweet. <laughs> oh, good. I'm on a roller coaster of emotions right now. Okay, don't don't judge me. She like seems so nice, but then there's other times that she just seems really sketchy. It's a very interesting dichotomy, I guess. Maybe that's the word for it. Don't know how to read her. We got a place for that. You okay with this? And not to the question as well. I was wondering if you give me a verbal answer. Oh no, don't tell me you can't talk, can you? What is this, Little Mermaid? If you can, I'm real sorry. She scratched the back of her head, but I could tell from her exaggerated expression that she was joking. I wonder if she's trying to lighten the mood. Okay. Ah. Oh, so you do know how to talk. Oh, thank goodness. Why don't you come over here first? It's a little hard to see because you're so far away. The girl introduced herself as Masaki. Just heard for me to come over. Don't worry, stick with me. Everybody loves me. <laughs> Nobody thinks I'm sussy. My head is still scrambling, but I'll do what I'm told. It's just as I was about to take a step, there was someone in my way. Oh. Ugh. Huh? Kana, is there something you'd like to talk about? 
I'd like it if you moved. Uh, interesting guy. <laughs> Handsome. Uh, that's a pretty honest remark. I feel like I'm being watched. I began to worry about my future treatment in here. Interesting. Creepy. Regrets my feelings. The 16 of us exited the gym and began walking down the scenic hallway. I guess that's somebody. Masaki being outcasted, then helping the guy getting outcasted. How very solidarity. I guess that might be why she's helping him. I feel like she's just... I guess she did say she just used to being, like, class president and stuff. And that's why she's always, like... I don't know, trying to, like, be the leader and stuff, but kind of to me, if you wanted to have, like, a less, I guess, generous interpretation, like, she always kind of wants to get in somebody's ear first and be like, hey, listen to me. I'm good. I'm, like, you know, somebody you can trust. You know, I feel like especially for her, she would want to get to him first so like, the others don't tell him. So she's the one to tell him about her past and not, um, you know, them. Because, yeah, obviously, if he hears it from Justin, it's not going to be nearly as uh, nice sounding. Or complimentary of her. The dining hall that Misaki brought me and the rest of the group to was a great place with a large table and a space for 16 people. First of all, let me ask you for your indulgence. You're in the same position as us, but in a slightly different one, and I think that might be a clue. My questions might be a bit aggressive, so let me know if you're not comfortable in this position. You have a certain amount of freedom to reject questions in your own way. No, oh, it's fine. The one I was about to say, it's okay. <sighs> Freedom to decline questions? It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, interesting. We gotta learn their names again. I oh, was unexpectedly cut off. You're right. We're at a crossroads, and every bit of information is a bitter pill to swallow. Kind of interesting. Yeah, it changes that. Is that what you're going to pay just to get a newspaper? Yeah. Calm down, Ego. I'm just saying. Of course I'm not here buy to buy for information. It's like he explained in a strong tone, and the girl called Ego clicked her tongue in disapproval. If you're going to do it, do it right, leader. There may be more of you in here than you realize. Uh, I agree. She untrustworthy. Perceptive, you should also know. You are object of vigilance. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> that is so true, not Kenjo. It was clear that Misaki was not a huge figure of universal support. Uh, well, it's still early to gain your trust. I know that too. I'll try a little more, so leave it to me for now. Yeah. Now you're a little confused, right? It was mentioned he was in the same predicament. And all of a sudden, we're talking about what he knows. Oh. So to give Miyuki a head start, why don't we introduce ourselves again? Oh, yay. <laughs> we'll just go through the introductions all over again. Miyuki doesn't know our names or our talents. And he's still too confused to get a feel for the atmosphere. Yep. Poor little guy. He's scared. A scared little man. I like it. Now that we have a new face, a public statement was something that had to be done at some point. And now seems like the perfect time. Oh, a twist already. What do you think about this, chat? As the shorter boy said his words, I could see the rest of the class nodding in agreement. Obviously, I'm not going to have the opportunity to talk to all the students at once, unless they're all together, like now. Oh, they hate me. <laughs> they hate me. The two students who had just spoken out against Kuzu were not opposed to her, though not an attitude. We're all in agreement, so we'll start. Then, one by one, they went counterclockwise and shared their names, talents, and other bits of information. Boo, do, and that's what happened. If we were playing Rain Code, that's what it would be. Um, that leaves Yumi. Yuki, why don't you introduce yourself? The silence is instantaneous. The cold air choking my throat with the gaze of people determined to catch every breath. Give the give me the answer I want, any of them, and give me something positive to review. Was the unspoken message? Oh God, should I just make up something? I felt like the strategy was more appropriate to a captured enemy soldier than a companion. If there was a concern, it was how far my tongue would continue in the future to come. It seemed like he didn't wake up or, like, really remember what was going on until Monokuma introduced him, right? So at first I kind of honestly did think he was just wandering around the school, like, aimlessly. <laughs> just happened to not bump into us, but it seemed like, yeah, he was just kind of, like, put to sleep or whatever for longer. We had no choice to begin with. After hesitating, I opened my mouth. We don't even know anything about this guy. My name is Nozumi Miyuki, and I'm a high school student like you. What if he's like, I'm the ultimate student? <laughs> Hiruto's like, fuck you, that's me. It's like, hey, why do you have the same voice as me? But I don't know if I'm a student from Hope Speed Academy. Oh, you are the ultimate question mark. Um, what do you mean? You didn't get an admission? The acceptance letter from the school? I'm sorry, but I never received it. No, not exactly. I don't recall. Recall. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't speak. I think there's a commercial anyway, so I'll take a water break. I 
I don't recall acquiring it. Money. Um, what does that mean? It is certain. It is literally. I don't remember. From one through ten, what my talents are, and am I even a student from Hope's Peak Academy? Why do my family, my friendships, everything, I'm literally wiped clean? Oh my God! You're so saucy, but so cute. <laughs> what? Does that mean amnesia? We are not similar, right? Because I don't actually... Uh, we're not similar, right? Because I don't actually remember anything except for my name. Okay, damn, literally. Technically, the memories from when I met you guys at the gym are still there. It's just that all the memories of my past are gone. So literally, uh... Ultimate question mark. So retrograde... So retrograde amnesia. But the memories are still intact. Intact in the present, right? Oh yeah, it is kind of like Sora, actually. Yeah, that's correct. The only student brought in for tardiness has lost all memories of his name. That doesn't seem like a coincidence. Oh. What do you mean, Miss Kazuki? Uh. Well, this shit's sussy. Come on. <laughs> what do you think it means? This is just a quick observation, but... I mean, it's possible that the mastermind that did this deliberately released, re erased all your memories, which is memory manipulation. Uh. I'm the kind of person who gets dizzy when I see numbers, so I don't know anything about that, but... Isn't that really, isn't that like hard to do or something? You're right, it is hard. Selectively erasing memories requires a very high level of neurological skill. Of course, I know how to do it, because I'm, you know, a girl boss. I figured it would be a shadowy organization that kidnapped 16 high school students to do this, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Wait, 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 I still don't get it. Are you serious? You don't remember anything about your name? Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. The only thing that sticks in my mind is my name. Nozumi Miyuki. Are we ever going to see Haruto either? I was like, does that man never talk? I have no memory, no knowledge, and have nothing to teach you. It's a real pity. It was like being told you can't help, but the student's interests seem to have already shifted elsewhere. That no knowledge thing, that's not exactly accurate, is it? Are you calling me a liar? If you really don't have knowledge, you shouldn't even be speaking the language. I always wondered that. T Girl, I was thinking the same thing whenever they do that. Whenever they're like, oh, I've lost all my memory. I don't remember my family, my friends, nothing. It's like, how do you even remember what a friend is? How do you remember to speak? You know what I mean? You gotta remember something. I guess it's like muscle memory in a way. So maybe that's why it doesn't get erased. But, you know, I always wonder that too. If you don't have any knowledge of Japanese in your head, how are you able to speak it, liar? Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. But what's wrong? I know how to speak Japanese, obviously. If I don't have knowledge of Japanese, I'd never be able to speak it. I also know what is commonly known as common sense. For example, a day's 24 hours, or force in the product of mass and acceleration. Uh, oh, a marathon track is 42.145 kilograms kilometers long. That is not common knowledge. Um, am I the only one who only knows the first one? <laughs> I'm right there with you, Shoji! Oh my god, head empty, just like me for real. Um, I guess we're unorthodox people. Then should memory and knowledge be categorized separately? I guess, I guess that's how it works. Memories are perceptions about me that I have built up on my own, and knowledge is perceptions that are generalized facts that others can build up to the same extent. This guy seems smart. It's a rough categorization. I feel like he probably was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. That sounds like a reasonable judgment. Pretentious enough, but not no contradictions, right? <laughs> so we know that you're pretentious. You got that. Even though you just came to your senses, your head is still spinning. Well, are you really? Have you really lost your memories? His little face is cute there. Of course I do. You don't think so? <laughs> no, I don't think that. I was just, I was just poking at you. I was just teasing you, buddy. But if it's true, that kind of artificial cater categorization is happening. I'd say it's more likely that the mastermind did it. They wanted to expunge all memories of your identity, but... That makes it difficult for you to return to the level of a newborn baby, right? So it's just the basic knowledge that a Japanese high school student should have, is that right? Um, that's a long story, but to summarize, it was necessary for the mastermind to erase Miyuki's memory for some reason. <laughs> Am I getting this right? Right, and it's also it also establishes that you are a very important person. Sussy! Ego's words had a profound effect. Once again, everyone in the room held their breath. 
There's no way the mastermind could have wiped his memories with its advanced technology. No, even if it was a memory of some sort, the contents should be considered valuable. In the end, either way, Nozomi Miyuki, your past may hold the key. Yeah, it's already like sussy when somebody has no memories in this game, but especially being like presented late and having no memories. Oh gosh, it makes you so much more suspicious. Well, perhaps that might be the mastermind's trap. What? A person or group of people with skill set to perform memory manipulation to a ridiculous degree? For them, artificially erasing Miyuki's memories may be a matter of snapping their fingers. Naturally, it's fair game whether they're the lead or supporting character. If that's the case, then Miss Ego's hypothesis does not quali qualify as inevitable. It may be logically plausible, but it's a hypothesis that doesn't give a shit about reality. If they had the skills, they'd already be overthrowing governments and taking over the world. You wouldn't be doing this shit with a bunch of high school kids. Well, I don't know, maybe they just like maybe they just like messing around like this, huh? You shouldn't judge them. Well, we're not exactly useless high school students. <sighs> oh, money. You guys are so naive, huh? What? Do you understand? You're being naive. Don't believe everything that's been said. Isn't this basically a killing school trip? <laughs> oh my god, this is just like Danganronpa 2. You seem to think that he's in a different position than we are because he showed up a day late. But he's a student after all. So I don't believe this. So what are you trying to say then? You don't think it's suspicious? Putting a convenient shield like amnesia? Oh, you think I'm lying? Going to block all unfavorable questions with that shield kid? I'll be damned if the mastermind is not among us. Oh. Wait a minute, Erica, you're pushing it too far. She accusing me of being the mastermind? As I heard the sound of a chair being pulled away, Fukuoka was on her feet. It could be a patient who's really suffering from memory loss, and you're going too far in front of them. Oh, what does it matter? What? She mentioned she mentioned this first, but though this question was supposed to be aggressive, he didn't take offense to it. If this is an aggressive questioning, what is it? No, but Miyuki, are you fine with that? Are they these concerns for Fukuoka sincere? From Fukuoka sincere? In that case, it'd be right for me to give a sincere answer. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> really, if it's okay with you, it might be pointless, but Fukuoka, Fukuoka sat down with a face that was still slightly uncomfortable with the mood. <laughs> In the end, Miyuki's words should not be taken lightly. That's true. Who can prove? Who can prove them? Oh, hey! We finally see you. Yeah, you don't have an ahoge. Oh, he's got like a little one here. Even our guy, he like kind of has an ahoge. It's like his part has like a hair sticking up. You know what I mean? Okay, you gonna finally talk, emo boy? <laughs> <laughs> he does look so suspicious. <laughs> oh man, Haruto, I kind of miss you. You're such a sussy baka. Yeah, she's right, 100%. Okay, I'm totally gonna give you the emo voice now. The one good thing about not playing as you is just give, being able to give you the emo voice, because I don't know if I can do an emo voice for a pro tag. That's it's too much. <laughs> Even those who had remained silent until now also joined. I began to have a feeling that the ending of this conversation would not end well. Are you gonna die or kill somebody, bro? You look a little... You look a little sussy with that, uh, that sprite there. That creepy sprite. Thank you, Monix. Just saying hi, Weedy. Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much. Hope you're doing well, too. And yeah, I'm doing good. Enjoying this, uh, new game so far. Haruto. You know, if you think about it, isn't that true? We're having a serious topic about who we can trust in this school. Everyone here are people you can't trust. Everyone is sharpening their knives inside of them, and on the outside, they're just saying good things like cooperation and unity. Hiroto, you damn it! I kind of wish I was playing as him. He's such an asshole. I love him. Don't, don't look at me like that. You're probably thinking to yourself, "When will this annoying guy just shut up? I'm going to get a knife or what?" <laughs> Dear God, Haruto! I hope you don't truly think of us like that. Is he gonna be the antagonist? So, what do you want to say then? It's simple. This is all meaningless. Forget about interrogating this guy and getting meaningless answers. And just let him go already. Just let him murder like the dog he is. And it's like trying to solve a problem that you can't even guess the answer to. With people involved in this situation. <laughs> what the fuck? Just as I was about to put my hand on my forehead in irony. A dull thud. Did he just pass out? <laughs> dull thud echoed across the dining table. Oh, wow, you're funny. We've gone in full circle, but there are times when you give the right answer, Huruto. What the fuck? 
Can you explain a little more clearly? It's enough with the meaningless things you've done. What what happened? Did he pass out or what? No. It looks like he's standing and meaningless. Even though Miyuki is suspicious as he could be pretending. It doesn't make sense. Miyuki himself said he can't remember anything. There's nothing to go on from there. I'm kind of surprised Miyuki was trusting me since she was so untrusting of, uh, you know, Mizuki, the criminal scum. Or is it this... Or is this a bunch of idiots talking to a bunch of idiots? I like to keep my options open. Wouldn't you agree that you're, you should be prepared for any situation? Who doesn't know that? Even if he's pretending, we'll leave the suspicious stuff up there. Um, that's what we're talking about, right? Shh, let's be quiet. The worst case scenario is that you're right. Miyuki is the mastermind and we can't help but think he's lying to us. Even so, we can't get answers from Miyuki, so let's keep our doubts to ourselves. We're not getting anywhere, and if I'm not getting anywhere, I hate wasting time. <laughs> she is such a girl boss. Oh, and that doesn't mean I'm siding with you, Hiruto. So don't get too excited. I don't like how you are ruining the mood by just talking about something that wasn't healthy to the topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, senpai. Ugh. That's no fun. You're an engineer. Does that mean you have to make something like a lie detector? With those words, Jumanji stopped speaking. Well, you went through the hazing process. Thank you for your cooperation, Miyuki. Everybody still hates you, I think, but you got you got through it, so yeehaw to that. There's no need to say it like that. I don't feel offended at all. Um, we've been talking to this guy, and he was an actor. We've been talking to this guy like he was an actor and being the mastermind. This is <laughs> this guy's nice. I can tell. He's got no hoge. We need to learn how to face the storms of the world together with his with this sister. Just trust and follow me. What is he? Your child now? <laughs> he's my son and he's done nothing wrong. It's pretty embarrassing to lose your memories and get suspicious from the start, right? It's okay if you stay with us. You'll get through it somehow. <laughs> Fukuoka, are you doing it too? That was a joke. Yeah, are you guys fighting over me already? No. How could I not be offended? Silence descended on this dining hall. It's not that the mood has fallen, it's just pure silence. Maybe they've grown tired of the call colleagues they found in front of them. Or maybe they're just tired of the toy toy they've been given. He's referring to himself as a toy? <laughs> as if not wanting to break the silence unnecessarily. And not wanting to put into words the feelings shared by everyone. The group dispersed. I wonder if Misaki, the person who organized the conversation, thought it was a problem that could have been solved by putting our heads together. And I, who never told a lie, was in trouble. Which, as Jumanji mentioned, is a problem that won't be solved unless someone brings a reliable lie detector. The point was to embrace it, in my case. An absurd starting point, in the case of the students, the unknown human individual. I was convinced, but what about the rest? He is so, like, intellectual. <laughs> like, sounding, you know what I mean? He uses such big words. The unknown is scary, and I can only hope that no one would hold a knife to my throat in the haste. Uh, I do still miss Hiruto, though. <laughs> After raising the diner, I stood in front of the red door as Monokuma had instructed me beforehand. My private room. When I unlocked the door with my key and entered, the view gave me a feeling that it was not much different from the room of a regular family house. That said, I didn't have to be nervous. From that point on, it was a wildfire process. The next thing I knew, I was lying in a fluffy bed. And before I could think of anything else, it struck me. Huh. In short, I fell asleep. Oh, I thought I was going to remember something. Monokuma Theater? Oh, yeah, we do get it! Slay! You're just not good enough to get Monokuma Theater, Haruto. Let's say we have a sand castle. A sand castle is, of course, a castle made of sand! Who would have thought? A sand castle is made up of so many grains of sand! But the loss of a single grain of sand doesn't make that much of a difference! So if you take a grain of sand out of the sand castle, it's still a sand castle, right? So you've taken one more grain of sand out of the sand castle that's missing a grain of sand, but it's still a castle! Oh! Oh, this is so deep! I'm 14 and this is deep! What happens when we stretch that thought? We pull out another grain of sand! Three grains, and four, then ten! Before I knew it, all the sand was gone, and there was only one grain of sand left in the sand castle. So is it a sand castle? The common sense answer would be no, but that's a problem! Ah, <laughs> uh, so, 
So great that you don't discriminate against sandcastles, Monica. But at what point did the sandcastle lose so much sand that it stopped being a sandcastle? Oh, this is so sad. There's a fine line in between. Now get ready to answer the question and keep listening to the story. And it's, I, I want to say it is a sandcastle, even though I don't think that's right. It's not even worth thinking about because a sandcastle isn't just an arithmetic a number of grains of sand. A sandcastle's objective concept defined by the size and shape of the grains of sand. A sandcastle is a structure and that is a certain that has a certain height, has a certain number of towers, and a certain amount of scale. If you break any of those, it's just a matter of making it a sandcastle disqualification. So how do we determine this criteria? Some say you need three towers to call it a sandcastle. Others say one is enough. I mean, I feel like as long as it looks castle-like, that, that's good enough. I wonder if this is foreshadowing. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, he's talking about it a lot. Someone will say it needs to be two meters tall. Some will say ten centimeters is enough, right? I'll leave it up to discretion of the arguers. It's not like we're going to fight over something so childish, right? Who gives a shit about sandcastles anyways? Let's solve the problem with this. There's no problem that can't be solved by Monica Ma's Dutch. Sandcastles in the sand, sandcastles in the sand. I can't remember how the rest of that song goes. Hey everyone, it's morning, 7 a.m. Wakey, wakey. Well, the title of this chapter is all about sandcastles. Oh, interesting. I didn't read the title of the chapter. Was it still in uh, Korean? I can't remember. Sand castles in the sand, sand castles in the sand. You took my hand and then you did something. I think I've been dreaming something. A very useless dream. I reckon my- <laughs> very useless- HOW DARE YOU! THAT WAS VERY IMPORTANT! <laughs> it's based off the chapter title! I wrecked my brain, but the memory had escaped me. The alarm has gone off, so it's time to get out of my head and get moving. <laughs> Sand castles and- Oh, huh, there's something hard on the bed. Oh. I pulled my hand out from under the covers. Oh! Yes! Finally! That's where they were! I was like, come on! We gotta have mono coins in this game. Oh, Miyuki, you found the mono coin! Huh? What's that? Oh, oh wow, Miyuki, aren't you too emotionless? At times like this, you have to be surprised and say, Ugh! Or annoyed and say, Why are you coming into other people's rooms? To get the flavor. It's not that I don't understand. I just have one word. What? Nani? So what's this mono coin thing? Or just ignore me then! Well, actually, that's what I came to explain. So let's get back to the point. The monocoin is a small gift from me to make your school life a little richer. As you can see, the size is only coins, but they are hidden all over the school. If you plan to find them, you can collect a lot of them in a minute. Yes, oh, I cannot wait to waste like 30 minutes of my time <laughs> just searching the school for monocoins. So what can I do with this? Well, the school is a small shop, you noticed? I came to the school for the first time yesterday. Of course I don't know. You should have paid more attention to your surroundings. The display stand has a lottery machine called the Mono Mono Machine, where you can use coins to win prizes. Since ancient times, the lottery has been a favorite. Why don't you give it a try, Miyuki? I'm not sure what the point of that would be, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I guess. Okay, we can actually go to the Mono Machine now. I grabbed the coin from the bed and slipped it into my pocket, then immediately turned around and headed for the bathroom door. I could hear Monokuma muttering some sort of curse words behind me, but I chose to ignore how dare he take a shower! How dare I? <laughs> we probably do need to stop soon, though, since, uh, we still need to have a stream for chapter one. When I slid the bathroom door open, Monokuma had disappeared. So what do we do now? Let's go eat first. Time to get to the diner. You can now save. Okay, cool. Save with your handbook using shift. Nice. Okay, yeah, we're probably in the stream here. I do want to ask Zeph. I can just message you two. Oh, hey, little main menu. This is cute. Oh, look at that. Actually, I guess I can look at the um, the profiles too. I wanted to ask Zeph too, as long as to make sure it's okay to load from uh, file two instead of file one. So I know they said originally that using their save file was like the better uh, thing to do. Okay, let me uh, rules, profiles, gifts. Woo! Let's look at the profiles. Izumi Miyuki, space view free time records. No free time records. Shocking. Okay, I guess gotta go through these individually. 
Um, do we have um, ultimate lucky student? Oh, does it not have the um? Oh yay, Korean! <laughs> My favorite. Man, I might have to start doing Duolingo Korean too. Intimacy rank. Okay, it doesn't actually say their uh, likes and stuff. That's kind of sad. Oh well. Oh well, that's fine, I guess. It's fine. It's not like I cared. Oh, his little scarf is like kind of exiting out of the uh, thing. <laughs> that's fine. I want to see your stupid likes, anyways. Whatever. Okay. Well, anyways, this will can this will conclude the stream. Uh, next time we'll do chapter one and play. You can load from your save file in chapter one. It's all right. Also, if you need mana coins to farm gifts, we just send me your save file. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, thank you, Kenneth Anderson. Seven shots, Weeby. Do you want the chat to fall drunk? <laughs> I saw you guys keeping count in chat. It's <laughs> like, man, do I say it that much? Damn. <laughs> I can't. I just can't help myself. But uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for coming to the stream. This has been super fun so far. I think um, so far, gosh, there's so many characters I'm interested in. I think Misaki is definitely pretty. I feel like Misaki, Shoji, and then uh, what's his face? And Justin, I'm probably the most interested in so far. I think they're my favorites. Oh, actually, what's his face? The little emo guy, too. Haruto. He's one of my favorites, too. I like him. He's sunny looking ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel like those are probably the characters I'm the most interested. Everybody seems pretty, you know, interesting. And I don't know. Like, uh, cool so far, though. But, yeah, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you next Sunday. Same place. Same time, and this time with more death. <laughs> so probably get to the first BDA, and probably the investigation too. But yeah, thanks guys for stopping by, and...